Hello, everyone. Come on in. Today we're going to be playing some more of Withering Waves. I don't know if this is going to run very well, because the weather isn't too great outside, so my stream might look a little bad, but hopefully it's fine. Let's just get out of whatever this is. Okay. Oh, jeez. That was quite a lag spike. Actually, now that I remember it, um, we should be able to summon more people. We got the summoning stuff from, um, from the, uh, Weather and Waves team. I want, I want to see Tiger. He's cool. That sword looks kind of neat. Kind of want to go for him. Opening greeting. Foul spirits be gone. All safe and sound. Yes. I like him. He's cool. I like his design. I wonder what kind of weapon he uses. Then... I really want to try to get this guy too. I really liked his combos when I tried his character out. Oh boy. The Sword of Night. That looks kind of cool. Still don't know what that kind of weapon does yet. Ranger Donjing. Worry not. My Crimson Blade will not harm you as long as you haven't done anything bad. I guess I'm kind of glad to have her. She had some cool combo stuff. A broad blade of Voyager. <laughs> Gauntlets. We got a new character, at least. Uh, we can go for it one more time. Ah, uh, we didn't get him. A broad blade of night. Good day. What does our loyal client wish to inquire about today? I got a gunner. Cool. Let's see. I really kind of want to get this sword. I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not. We'll do one. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah, I'm going to guess we didn't get it. Whether you need help with working out or... Oh, I got a character for health. Here. Feel free to come by my gym. We welcome all visitors. Cool. I guess I can just summon from the weapon one and I might still get characters. Guess we'll do one more here. See if we can get lucky and get the weapon. 
Nope. It was worth a shot. So... That one's on the 8 versus the 10. Let's do this one. I always appreciate the discount. Okay. What's this one? Oh, the Sword of Night, I see. I guess while it's discounted, I'll just do this one, maybe. Sick too. I guess I got a four star weapon, but I don't know who would use it. Actually, I can still summon one. Four-star gun. Two four-star guns. Wow. Cool. Okay. So now, I go to her. Got some of her stuff. Additional loop stores. Two point five resonance energy. Okay. to my team. I like the combo she had. Him I'm definitely gonna put on my team, I think. What kind of weapon does he use? Okay, so he uses the gauntlets. Oh, we can just give him the best ones we have. That one will give him 20 cents of 10. This for 2, but this is defense. Um, oh, she uses that. You can give her the a good one, I guess. Actually, let me look through all the characters first. To give my guy a better sword. Kind of like this, the way this one looks. I'll do this one. Let's go to the bottom here. Get rid of all of these lower tier ones. <laughs> Some good beefy damage. Sword. And I got two guns that could work. It's gonna be 
that one. She has guns too. Yeah, those ones. You have a better sword. I like the night sky sort of night sword better. this good one because you're the only one who uses it. If you gauntlets this guy uses gauntlets too. Give him the blue one so they match his aesthetic. Okay, I think that's everyone. So I'm going to Upgrade hers. So let's upgrade that. something I want to do quick. Let's upgrade this. It's a good thing I had a bunch of these ones. Now that one's maxed out. So let me upgrade it some more. Okay, so we're gonna max this one out. I have the materials to upgrade it further, but I need to take my soul three phase two. So I think he's got probably the best weapon I can get at the moment, unless I get like a four star. And a sword of night as well. But I don't think I have any more. Yeah, I don't. Which is fine. I'm going to unequip her things. Unequip hers. I'm the only one that has something equipped. Let's give her one. Laser. Then... Um, friendly units, transport tubes. This one's probably better. Assume the skill tree, I gotta do stuff before I can do that one. Oh, they have cherished items. Maybe I can give people gifts or something. First try? What did I do on first try? Oh, equip a uh, four star. I see. And I 
got one to obtain six resonators. Okay. So if I go out and fight things, I should be able to level that thingy up. So let's do that. So, yeah, let's go over here. Oh, don't track that. How do I teleport? Can I not teleport? That's to get delivery level up. Rediscover forgotten treasures and Solaris and exchange them with relic merchants for unique rewards. Search the world for scattered resinous caskets to revive these lost treasures. Okay. Okay, that one I can fast travel to. Okay, so up here I can fast travel, not down there. I haven't visited the other areas yet, I don't think. Okay. Oh, hello there. Ah, the leg. Huh. Yeah, I hope they're able to um, fix the lagging issue sometime soon. Something golden hanging from that dragon's mouth. Hmm. Item up there. What am I talking about? I know how to get it. <laughs> Here we go. So I got one of those casket things. I think I was just reading something about taking them somewhere. I want to go and fight the... I like the combat in this game. That's where I climbed up before. That's the only way to go. Released. Got some gold ring dragonfly. Every I'm a treasure chest. Open the backpack. What? Oh. Clean one Ranger series weapon of your choice. Oh. Well, I'll claim this one. Mando of Conviction. And 
interesting. So if I... Get my weapon... Let me upgrade this quick, and if it does more damage, I might switch to it. Eighty five damage. Ooh. It does do more damage, so I'll snag that. Let me upgrade this one too. See what the damage would look like on it. That's going to be 62 versus 67. So for her, I will switch her weapon to that one. <clears throat> and I need to figure out how to... There we go. Lock that weapon. Lock that one too. I will just lock all the weapons people are using. Okay, so that's locked. Lock that too. bomb here. Since I thought of it, let's upgrade his stuff. So my character should be pretty strong and beefy. At least for now. his thing a little bit. <clears throat> okay. So now, the main three people I want to use, their weapon should all be fully upgraded for now. Let's see, how do I do... Uh, I think it's in team. Got them swapped out. Yeah, remember she had the combos. How does he fight? Oh, I like that. Hmm. Yes, I like them all. So he has a cooldown on his Y. These don't. Up, so let's get this over with. Wait a second. Oh, that attack makes her HP go down. Interesting. Okay, that might not be good. His doesn't decrease his HP. <gasps> 
see. Interesting. I can do like a kind of double jump thingy. It's all cold around here. Haven't seen any enemies though. Oh, here's some. Oh, I like him. I like it. He's like up here, like spamming attack. Okay. Now, check. Have some trophies. Data bank, I can. No, I didn't get any data bank XP. Don't know. Maybe I already have a echo or something of the thing I got. Um, let me change. Streams. Fight break real quick, because now it looks like the stream's doing a lot better than earlier. Okay. So. My time to shine! Interesting. Guide my blade. Hmm. What is this? Remnants of the past. Interesting. Well, I guess I'll keep going up. Maybe I'll get an echo from this thingy. Don't know how I dodged both of those. I've got this. Ta -ta! Interesting. So I guess this is just data bank XP is what I need for it. Hmm. So if I go to here. Oh, I didn't even level him up yet. Let me do that for her too. That way she has more HP. Wow. 
Cool. About some twenty. Make him twenty two. Okay. Well, hopefully that will help with some stuff. Hopefully. Not what I was doing with him. Change that out for this. Let's go to her. She's got two of this Torbus thing. Wait, I can upgrade the Echoes too? There's a lot to do. Is there like a way to upgrade like their class with more of them or anything or I don't think so. Mm, I don't know. Give him one. Here we go. Let me check the map. There's a waypoint thing behind me. Not sure if I want to go back for it right now, though. There's some lizard things up here. Absorb. Don't worry, I've got this. Well, I got a new echo, I think. And one up by twenty. <laughs> get some of those ingredients. Or I'll need them later. Get in here. Uh, timing. The hour is upon us. Cool. Let's see. Did I get anything from that? I did. some new ones in here. Let's grab that. And 
this. And then for her, the lizard. Getting a half these. One with the sounds. Hmm. <sighs> Can't believe I forgot about the echo things. There's so much stuff in this game you can use. It's cool. This is oh. Cherish every gain. <laughs> See, there's a big building thing over there. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's a town right here. a waypoint thingy. <gasps> cool. Let's take a look at where we are. So, to the left of Jinsuo. Talk to anyone here. Doing outside the door. Hmm. Lighters are kind of an interesting design in this game. Something down here. <laughs> Challenge. Easy. 
Remnants of the past. It's fun too. I like the combat with the way that you can. I like the way that they switch between people, leading into like combo attacks. Right, they're caskets. An else down there. Hello there. Moment of resonance. Just the sheer combo-ness of the combat is amazing. Right up my alley. Getting our data bank level up too. This one's golden. An unexpected discovery. Used to tune four star echoes. Used to tune five star echoes. Where are those? What did I just get? Device for tuning five star echoes unlocks one sub attribute. Adjust echoes frequencies, remove any noise, and unleash the true power. Huh. Are those like leveling up items or. That's what I would assume at least. I go look. At these. No, it's not the same. Hmm. So, how do I use them then? Hmm. Who knows? Person, extra ones. He's got some already. Okay. Time for some more exploring. See if I can find some more echoes to uh, capture. I'm curious how I'm supposed to break this. Hmm. Maybe you need like a different kind of person to break that, maybe. Oops. 
Looks like there's a box in there. Maybe I need someone with fire? Hmm. Do I have anyone with fire? I do. Suppose let me get her out. Make a second team. We still have a long journey ahead of us. I'll save the day. Let's make the like a. The Skylark song is about to sound. Make a team of like the original people. I guess it doesn't work. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. There's something where you gotta like shoot it through that maybe. obtain something oh maybe it's a puzzle this guy won't see what hit him things. These must be like the puzzles in Genshin where you gotta follow them or find the certain ones and bring them back to where they need to go. smoke around me. Let me head back to where I was. There's another casket up there. Teleport thing. An unexpected discovery. Cool. Some monsters over here. This. Go. 
guide my blade. Upswing. These guys are. So I guess it's just my character who can go up the walls and stuff super smoothly. Cherish every gain. More stuff over here. Sounds come forth. Music selection's pretty good. Sea of Flames. It's a big monster over there. <sighs> Why am I dying? Oh. I guess it's really hot over there, maybe. Oh, yeah. Too hot. Don't know why. Might need to do something to cool it off. <sighs> Yikes, it's burning. Why is it so hot over there? Oh, you can break those? Huh. Dark sounds come forth. Don't worry, I've got this! That's what those lines are. It means that it's super hot over there. Keep it together. <laughs> Drum beat strong, ill fortune gone. <laughs> An unexpected discovery. Okay. It seems I'm not immediately burning right here. What's this? So there's a challenge I'm entering. Oh, I don't have this unlocked. Fine. It's hot. Gotta get out. My time to shine. You scared? Use. 
Yeah. Bunch of gas right here. I sense your weakness. Discovery. I am kind of injured. <laughs> they have boss music over there, so I assume it's dangerous. Cherish every gain. Be of coals. Another waypoint. It's kind of funny that I've just ignored what my real objective was, so I could just come and do this. <laughs> Let's see here. I'll use that every. 30 seconds, I guess. Is there like food I can eat? Well. Here. Is there like a... Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. button. <gasps> Accidentally opened up steam. Oh, you, pro you guys probably didn't see it, though. There's people to fight over there. Or I do. You look at these. I captured some of these guys. Huge of damage. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Still burrito. Time to try this out. Is my curtain call? Ta -ta. Huh? Got two things to absorb. Remnants of the past. There's a whole bunch of enemies over here. I think I'm going to start hurting if I get close, yeah. Too bad. Can I go up there? Will I burn if I'm up here? Doesn't seem like it. An unexpected discovery. A lot of weapons. How do I get in there? Oh. What's this? Okay, what is the point of coming in here? There's something here, but I don't know what to do. Oh, I guess that's unfortunate. Maybe I'll need to come back to it at some point. There's a food thing, food icon over there. <sighs> I 
This is locked. Probably by that thing over there. Grab this while I can. These will last a while. Let's get this over with. I am slowly dying. Ooh. Guess that's not how I unlock that chest. Huh. Huh. Do some cooking up here. Chef level thing too. Get these. Cool. Increases all target members attack by hundred. Oh. I was trying to make food that could heal me. quite have all the ingredients I would need for things, and most stuff is locked, so... Yes, this is all I got for now. I think if I... I wonder what all the lines are really supposed to mean. Who knows? Something over here. Backpack, do I have any food? I hardly have any at all. I'll use this. Let's go over here and beat this thing quick. Keep it together. Absorb it. Grab this. And get out. This is a nice find. Ooh. I think, like, everything around here is just dangerous. <laughs> well, map time. It's all fast travel to whatever this is. Okay, so now I'm back out here. I see. So maybe something at the top of that tower is making things like this. I see smoke stuff up there too. at their teleport waypoint. Hmm. Cranes floating in the sky, everything. Oh. There's something over here. Go. There you go. 
cherish every gain. Interesting. Not quite what I thought it was. I think there's something wrong with the ground that hurts me. An unexpected discovery. So as long as I don't touch the ground, I think I'm fine. Oh. I'm gonna guess that the ground is hot. Why is it hot? I have no idea. <clears throat> I guess that's just how this area is. one of the big things I wanted to fight. Creature. Sounds come forth. Guide my blade. This might hurt. Hello there. The other thing, I wonder how I get rid of the thorns on the chest like this. I wonder if there's like an item you have to use to do it. There's a thing over there, but I want to check out this first. Yes.
That's the only thing I don't like about her combos is that some uh, loom whiskers crisps would be great. That she hurts herself when she does it. Neat premise, but it's a little annoying. So, she is able to um, heal herself a little bit. If she gets like a certain combo in, I'm pretty sure. this pressure plate, huh? That might be something I need a second person for. Well, there's a few of them, actually. all these puzzles yet they haven't really taught me about them in the game one with the sounds he change his thing you do dad Attack and counterattack and successful. Yeah. That might be better. Actually, let me upgrade it. Oh, never mind. I thought you could upgrade with whatever spare ones you have here. Look at our trophies. We must have gotten a whole bunch of stuff from all the fighting. Okay. Data bank is looking better. Just need 40 more experience. Block is placed near the pressure table. After the utility is unlocked, you can use Levitator. Okay, so I don't have the ability to do it yet. That's why. Give it damage. Dodge grants resonant energy. Resonance energy is full. The powerful resonance liberation comes available. Okay. Cell sockets. So that's what that other one was. I probably need, yeah, I need Levitator. Hmm. I'm eroded by the incendiary petal columns, causing a steady decline in their HP. So I guess I need food, maybe. Explosive charges trigger a violent explosion if stimulated. After... Okay, so I need Levitator for that too. So that must be how you get rid of the thorns. You blow that up. Uh, okay. Learned a whole bunch. Oh. See what's up here. An unexpected discovery. There's a chair. Oh.
completely forgot what the dodge button was halfway through that. I think it was a good guy, good idea getting that tiger fellow. His attacks Cherish are pretty good. Gain. Rhino. Rod Blade. That's enough there. Might be something in the tower. Nope. I'm still pretty close to that thing. Just been kind of circling around it, I think. Oh, hello there. Strike in the shadows. Oh. Not good. <laughs> Let's see, there's a few puzzles around here. Probably want me to move fast. To another battle. Rounds come forth. The end has come. Last chance. My time to shine. Getting pretty low on health. So I'm probably gonna want to head back to town soon. It's a challenge here. Something wrong. Hey, okay, maybe I need to get these point things.
Okay, what am I doing wrong? Oh, collect all the dots. I see. Missing three. Here they are. <gasps> Let me try again. Now that I understand it, it should be easier. Every gain. Yeah. <sighs> Took me a second, but I was able to do it. I think we just stumbled upon another chest. <sighs> but it's locked. Oh, I see. Disperse. Swift and resolute. <laughs> Remnants of the past. I did it. Expected discovery. There's a lot of bad guys everywhere, and I don't even know the plot behind them yet. Hey, bunny. No hesitation. Don't worry, I've got this. How's it going? How you doing? Oh. <laughs> the hour is upon us. <laughs> Drum beat strong, ill fortune gone. Making a morning match at the moment. <laughs> okay, well enjoy your lurk. Glad to have you around. I'm just kind of going around in weathering waves, uh... Ignoring the main quest I'm supposed to be doing so I can explore and fight. But I've seen a lot of cool stuff thanks to it.
Oh. There's a fruit growing up there. Climbing fig, huh? Yeah, <laughs> right? I mean, that's basically what it is at this point. I'm just going around... Looking for chess and fighting people and... Getting a bunch of the stuff for summoning people. So I think I'm gonna go back to the main story here soon because my characters are low on HP and I'm gonna have to head back. I can't do this because I don't have the levitator thing yet. Get down! Get down! How do I drop? There we go. Another casket thingy, my bob. That's all the stuff in there. Have you had a chance to play this game yet, Bunny? Unexpected discovery. fish thing. Echo challenge. Oh, I'm a fish. Oh boy. Boy. This is a testament to my kind. That's interesting. I didn't know there was cherish every gain. A side quest where you can just race up some water as a fish. I sense your weakness. Scene. Don't know why it gave me a cutscene for that. A robot battery pack. Interesting. You there, wanna blow off some steam? You, wanna put your limits to the test? What about you? Wanna gain some fame and earn some bucks while you're at it? Yes, you, the one reading this flyer. At 2 p.m. tomorrow, we will be hosting a grand tournament slash party at this location. Guess who's invited? You. Prove to yourself that you have what it takes to be a real badass. Join us and show off your sharpshooting skills. Best of all, a mysterious prize awaits. Interesting. So... Uh, where's the thing for that? Oh, that's not it. Isn't there like a thing to change the time? Yeah. Oh, that's not it. Um. How did I do that last time? Oh, it's down here. Tomorrow at two. Might be the wrong two.
is military time for this, huh? No, oh, I don't see any sharp shooting thing here. There's some guys to fight. some good combos. Remnants of the past. What can I cook? Nothing. Great. Oh good. Well I think it's probably time to go back to the city since we're basically dead. I can spawn right here. Oh, I completely forgot I have a box of cheeses right next to me. I've been starving this whole time. I was like, huh, really hungry. If only I had food here. Meanwhile, on the table right next to me, I have crackers. Mmm. Go drop these caskets off and see what that does. There's a chest over here. Cherish every gain. It's over here. Hello. In the land of Daxia, I am practicing the art of overdash and hope to one day become skilled swordsman. Hmm. Why are you speaking like this? I learned these words from the novel, The Seven Swords of uh, Shingren by the Kuhai. The book is very popular in my homeland. If I want to become a new generation of Kung Fu heroes, I must learn from all aspects. Um, why do you need to overdash and walk on walls? Shingran heroes are the main heroes in the novel The Seven Swords of Shingran, and are mysterious swordsmen of unknown identity known as Shikyu. Hidden in the darkness, swiftly dashing, landing silently, and striking mercilessly. Mercilessly. This is the greatest characteristic of Shiren heroes. I am also following in their footsteps, starting from the most basic overdashing and practicing the supreme kung fu. Is there a reason why you're here? Not only that, overdashing is also the most important competition in the global fan club of Shiren heroes. Every year, at the beginning of the year, Enthusiasts gather together to show their skills and compete on the title of the Overdashing Master. The World Championship has been going on for many years and has expanded several times. It has become a famous street competition and fashionable sport in my hometown. I am not only a participant, but also a leader and promoter in the training field of Jinshuo. I'll work hard to become the Overdashing Master next year, one step closer to being a Shixia. What will happen if you become the overdashing monster? Kuhai will tell me the winner of Sixia story that no one else knows. It is a hidden Easter egg that belongs only to one person, and it is our greatest honor and motivation. 
If you want to participate in the competition, you can sign up and train with me. How do you play this challenge? First, as a hero, you rarely taste defeat with your mortal body. As followers, we need to complete the challenges relying solely on our own abilities without borrowing any external powers. Second, as a hero with a sharp blade in a hand, a weapon by your <coughs> side, Challengers can use grappling hooks and other external objects to assist in their swift movements and complete the challenges. Third, as a hero, you can hide in high places, your presence unknown to others. Swift movements can only be made on the rooftops. Challengers must not touch the ground and must seek other paths. These are the requirements for the art of overdashing. Let me give it a try. Great, you have a unique talent. You must be a martial arts expert. You are our partner. After this conversation, the challenger the challenge begins. Please reach the distant finish line as soon as possible within the rules. Okay. So let's see if I can do this. Oh. Did I need to talk to him before I left? I guess not. I don't know where it is I'm supposed to go, though. Touch the ground yet, so I might be fine. Oh, I touch the ground now. Sensor. I don't know how to use sensor. 
I need to get over there. Did it by accident. <gasps> I hit the wrong button. Great. <laughs> I can do it this time. Dang it! Almost there. Yeah, I did it. <clears throat> Congratulations on a successful challenge, friend. The Global Fan Club is of uh, Shiren Heroes will give you a set of the Seven Swords of Shiren as a Collector's Edition art book. Moreover, you have attained the qualification to participate in the World Championship. If you're interested, I can help you with the registration. I also have designed a new track. If you want to break your record or challenge new difficulties, come find me. Yes, more training will make you faster, higher, and stronger, bringing you closer to becoming a true hero. I will tell you where the challenges are, and I look forward to your attempts. If you successfully complete two new tracks, there will be new rewards waiting for you. Okay. The little ninja. An unexpected discovery. Hmm. Oh, let's go talk to the relic merchant.
here he is. <clears throat> Hello, Xiao Feng. You seem to be in a hurry. What's the matter today? Shenpei. Please don't call me that, remember? Oops, my bad. I should call you Sixia. Patroller Sixia. So, this youngling here must be a friend of our great Patroller Sixia, yes? Uncle Shenpei, please stop teasing me. Hello. Uncle Shenpei, this is my friend Rover. <laughs> I brought him here today for some help. Let's give him these. Oh, this thing is really hard to find. I've been looking at in the wild searching for something like this. I'm so lucky to meet you today, Rover. What is a Sonnenance casket? It might look like a box, but it's actually some kind of energy entity that doesn't have a physical existence. On the other hand, one could consider it a box in a way. The unusual boxes contain physical items, but the sun and its caskets contain records of the past. Simply put, Oh, my young friend, this is data fragment that survived the collapse of <coughs> sonorospheres. The sun and its caskets, just like the sonono sonorospheres, hold onto the sounds from the bygone days. Within these caskets, one can find the most treasured artifacts from the magnificent civilization that exists before the lament, as well as the profound human emotions experienced during the catastrophe. Ah, uh, they represent the final remnants of a bygone era, washed away by the relentless tide of history. I have a selfish request to make. Will you please let me have the Sonnen's casket? Why? To be frank, the Sonnet's cast didn't, doesn't hold any financial worth. Yet for those of us who are relic hunters, the information stored in these Sonnet's caskets is highly con converted. I can't speak today. I could pay you with shell credits or other valuable items. Long story short, it's a sweet deal for you. I'll make you sure you get happy with what you get. Rover. Rover, you can trust Uncle Shenpei. He's a famous treasure appraiser and Shinsuo. Definitely not a bad person who cheats and deceives. Besides, I, Chixia, am a patroller, and if he ever lies to you, <laughs> justice will punish him. Ah, uh, Chixia. No, I'll never do something like that. Just kidding. Uncle Shenpei, you're so kind. No hard feelings, okay? It's a deal, then. Great. Thank you, Rover. So it seems I get rewards from it. Oh, the little robot dances. Yay. So if I find a bunch, I get rewards. Let's see. There's ten levels. Good to know. I wonder. So we got 814 of that. Need 960 to summon again. Event. Oh. What do you know? That definitely helps. I guess my data bank went up. Didn't even realize it. Well, now I can summon without a problem. I don't know if you can hear me, Bunny, but you think we're gonna get any good polls? I really want to get that emerald sword. Be cool. Ah.
Uh, we didn't get nothing too good. Oh, actually, we did. We got a scale slasher. Interesting. Hmm. At least we got a sword. Let me look through that. More importantly... Okay, one's a guardian sword, one's a scale slasher. Interesting. Would this be any better is the real question. What I got. Is all, all the low level things. This one's 85. Right next to each other. 85 and 70. So we can give it to her. sort of night. Unlock that. It's fun to upgrade all the items and stuff. anything else that need to be upgraded. Lock this one and upgrade its ring. I'll probably have like one of every weapon at some point. Have them all Maximum rank that I can get them. Okay. So now that I did that, those other swords don't matter too much. of night I don't need. Okay. I think I need to be able to ascend. 
pretend union level because I see. I gotta raise my union level if I wanna do that. How do I get his stuff upgraded? That's a good question. Okay. Well. Let's go to the Echoing Miracle. <laughs> Running downtown, going fast. Do you need help? It's Rover. Hey Rover. I heard that gold puff feels ice cold and yielding to the hand. Is that true? Watch this. I prepared this gold puff observation journal with stickers on every page. Oh, it's so cool. You even have researcher Baji's signature on the title page. The sugar, you came right on time. I have a favor to ask. Who are you? I'm Xion. I teach the introduction to the tacit discord creatures at Jinzo school. Do you know Echo, Echo Projector? The machine that turns me into an Echo? Exactly. Echo Projector is part of the special outdoor lesson we would ask for Resonator to cooperate as a volunteer. Volunteer? agreed to meet us here, but he has not shown up until now. So you need another volunteer. Yes. We hope our students can observe and get to know TD more safely. Over, it seems Goldpuff is quite popular among kids, so you'll kind of look forward to this lesson. Alright, I'll help you. I prepared the compensation for the volunteers, so you won't work for anything. Come with me, sugar. And you're really right, Bunny. We're doing all the, uh... Doing all the side quests. <laughs> we'll study the migration patterns of Gullpuff today. This is the downstream part of the river, and the sugar will play as a Gullpuff swimming upstream. We will reach the destination with the guide of the boys. The children will observe and record the behavior patterns of the Gullpuff on the bank and compose a report after the lesson. Let's go. I've done this once already, unintentionally. Oh. Try this again. One more time. We can do it. I see. Maybe I have to go back this way. There we go.
Got the hang of it now. Here we go. Whoa, you feel so slippery. You're really in your element, Rover. Rover is so adept at playing golf. Opa. We cook rising long with gold puff. It would taste so delicious. The fabled fried echo. Don't take it so seriously, Mr. Goldpuff. We're just joking. <laughs> Mr. Goldpuff seems like a good name for Rover. Mr. Shyam, could you take a photo of us and Mr. Goldpuff? He took a group photo with the school kids. Thank you for your help, Sugar. The children all love you. Please take your compensation. May I turn to you again for similar sessions in the future? Of course you may. So what did I get for it? Oh, I got credits. All right. There's a pupper. And I can't pet him. That's sad. I think there's something up there. Go. Right here. So I can buy ingredients here. Buy a bunch of food. I don't know what I need. Making clear soup, add a couple more adodes or simmering. It'll make the soup more flavorful and the color a lot brighter. Use seasoning sparingly to preserve the original taste of the ingredients. That's how you get the most delicious soup. Okay. I don't know what ingredients I need. Everything is so expensive, too. So expensive. Buy some ingredients. Probably gonna lose all my money. Let's buy this. I'm almost out of money. There we go. There's a chest here. Cherish every gain. Try cooking. Forgot, I can't make anything. <clears throat> Thing is, I can't... I can't make any of the other food. I guess I can only make the one thing. I need to make a whole bunch of it. Let me check the menu. Oh, I can buy recipes here. 
This was one of the characters' favorite, if I remember. Is there not, like, food for, like, healing? That's strange. Oh. Time for me to head down. Oh, there's chest. Remnants of the past. I guess let me check to see if there's any more up here. <gasps> Don't see any. To continue the story. We resonators can boost our combat abilities with special items. Our echoes can use them too. If you feel like it, head to Instructor Yan at the training camp for extra practice and to get these enhancement items. Okay. Increase the resonator level to overcome the upcoming challenges. Back to Yang Yang. Okay. I already do that. I already knew to upgrade people though. And the people upgraded that I want upgraded. You know, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to um, just upgrade everyone. Except for I'm out of money, so. Okay. Let's head on out. There's the training camp. Yang Yang, did you hear that? I, is that someone crying and wailing? That should be the Midnight Ranger's training camp. Let's not worry about it, Shisya. <laughs> Instructor Yan is in charge of training new recruits. I heard he's pretty tough, but I think Rover can handle anything he throws at him. Okay. Hello. Hey, new guy. Here for some sparring. Necessary training will keep your mind sharp. Remember, you have no choice but for mistake. <clears throat> you have no chance for mistakes out there. Let's do it. Ooh. All of these do stuff. Um. They'll give me different, different things. What's the difference between match and single challenge? Okay. Let's do this. Okay, I'm ready. Gale Storm! This is my curtain call! Those are XP things. Okay.
Maybe we'll try the other two challenges as well. This one would be good. Give us a bunch of money. This is some easy money. Okay. Defense at the city gate has been strengthened. It wasn't like this when we came back. What's going on up here? Access pass is required if you're heading to the Norfall Barrens. That place is now off limits. <clears throat> what is your business, young lady? It's my third shift and you're still here. Oh, uh, you must be the soldier on duty at noon yesterday. Nice to see you again. I'm a resonator and a trained martial artist. I can handle myself. Please. I need to go look for someone. I've promised the missing man's grandfather to bring him back. Would you let me through? Come with us. Be that as it may, I cannot let you, given the current circumstances. My apologies. Well, everything seems fine in the city. Are things really that bad on the front lines? That's why we must stay vigilant. So people in the city can go on peacefully with their lives. Besides, General Gion is currently there at the Norfall Baron's base. Dangerous as it is, he will keep an eye on every soldier, including the one you're looking for. We have already sent a report on your case. You could just go home and wait for the good news. What's the point of staying here? Uh, thank you, but I have already asked the patrol station for help and tried every method I could think of. Please let me through. I promised him, so I gotta give it my all. I understand your concern. I don't want to be a bother. Would it help if I hid my presence and stayed somewhere further away? How about five miles? Or maybe a hundred? Well, a thousand might be too far, though. I wouldn't be able to see you clearly. Listen, nobody knows when the soldiers will return, and even if they do, you might not find the one you seek. It's a dangerous road ahead if you want to reach the front lines, and you don't even have an access pass. I you uh, look at mine? <clears throat> Your access pass has been verified. Just you two? No, there's three. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. No problem. I intend to leave the city with them, and they have agreed. Will it be an issue for you? I, uh... I don't know well, what I said. <laughs> it says you have the highest level of access, so no procedural issues here. Honestly, he could lead an entire troop out of the city with that access pass, and no one would question it. Oh, well, let's go then. Sure.
Jixen explained why she wanted to leave the city. She told you about the person so she's looking you're for. you're looking for the relative of a veteran, and you believe he's in the Midnight Rangers camp in Deseret Highland? Mm-hmm, exactly. Hmm. Why is it so important for you to find him? Mr. Zhongye seemed confused. He's gone through a lot searching for his enlisted grandson. Lending a helping hand was the least I could do. I reported his situation to the patrol station, but with the chaos on the front line, Mr. Zhongye has been extremely worried about his grandson's safety. He'd sneak out to look for his grandson the moment no one was watching. What's your relationship with the person you're looking for? His name is Jie Yuan. I don't know him in person. On my way down the mountain, I ran into his grandfather who was looking for his grandson on his own but ended up lost. I couldn't just leave an elderly person like him out there. So I thought I'd escort him to the nearest city and make further plans once we're safe. You're willing to go to such lengths with someone you don't know. That's what kindness is. You have a kind soul, Master Tianxing. It's all thanks to many kind-hearted people. Without them, Mr. Zhongya and I wouldn't have made it to Jinzhou. Did you ever... Did you know anything about the mangosteen? This mangosteen? It's got some fresh-looking leaves, soft, springy skin, and eight fleshy segments fully ripened inside. It looks like a nice fruit. Hmm. How do you know that? Oh, uh, one more thing I forgot to mention. There's a bruise at the bottom. If you don't eat that part soon, it'll spoil. Where are you from? I grew up in my sect on a mountain. Spent most of my time training with my masters. One day, I was told training in seclusion was not enough. I must engage with the world to further my skills. So I started my self-cultivating journey. I've been to various cities and gained valuable lessons, but there is still so much more to learn. Okay, got it. According to what I've gathered, Mr. Zhongye's grandson is very likely in the Desert Rock Highland. <sighs> Thanks to your help, I can finally leave the city to find him. Of course. Mm. <gasps> Got a huge box of cheeses. like soldiers why are you here the frontliners are right up ahead i am yang yang an outrider of the midnight rangers yang yang showed her midnight rangers badge and six them asked him about sin young a missing person ju yan the one you're looking for is he an average person not a resonator i suppose yes have you seen him? Is he alright? I met him once. He's not officially enlisted, but he seemed determined to join us. He's been secretly following our troops since last year. I think a quartermaster of the rear guards escorted him away, so if he's not in the city, he must be in the rear guards camp. He can't be anywhere else. The actual front lines are right up ahead, and we, the Midnight Rangers, would never allow non-servicemen to approach and risk getting killed. I see. Thank you. Now, if you're heading that way, I have a request for you, my outrider comrade. On your way there, you should run into two detection beacons. They just went offline. Could you go check on them? Sure, they will. Great. I'll send the coordinates to your terminal. Sounds like a plan. Hang on the sensor and release to select.
Use sensor to confirm the patrol ramp. How do I do that? Oh, I have levitator and stuff now. Wrong or what? Oh, I see. things. Tuner or whatever's. <laughs> Says there's something up here. to find the detection beacon. How do I figure that out? It doesn't really tell me anything. This is it. What is it that I'm looking for? Some wolves over here fighting. anything. I don't know why it wants me to use the... Is that the beacon? Hmm. Why are there so many people? Probably because they hmm. stole it. They don't look like soldiers. Greetings. What might interest you here? It's dangerous. Oh, uh, we, uh... Nothing really. You see, we're just on our way south to the city. Stop lying. I saw it. Excuse me, about this detection beacon. Run, everyone! Don't let them run off. I... I can't move. So hungry. Oh, but please don't arrest us! We really had no choice. 
Oh boy. What happened? Do you need help? The battles are getting real bad up north, and we couldn't live there anymore. Figured we have to go back to the city. We ain't eaten in ages, and we're broke. Some of us can barely move, cause we're so damn hungry. Then we found some expensive looking stuff here. Now that the military's out there fighting and nobody's really using these things, we thought it might get us a few pennies. A damage detection beacon might result in a sudden TD invasion from the direction it covers. Our frontline troops would face attacks from both sides. Have you thought about the consequences? But we ain't got the time for that. If we don't steal, we'd starve to death before the tacit discords kill us. You shouldn't be stealing public property. Please, return the parts. There's still some distance from here to Jinjo City. Here, you can have my flatbreads. Oh, and here's some money. This should be enough for you to reach the city. Well, that was awfully kind. You're giving us all of these? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you! Come over and say thank you before you eat. It was nothing. Master once told me, the sage takes care of all men and abandons none. Uh-oh. Watch out! Oh boy. Hmm, a tough nut, ain't you? I just helped you. Why did you attack us? You're not feeding us all with your bread and pennies. Hand over your goods and grub, or face the consequences. We ain't messing with no kids, but don't test our patience. Just do as you're told. Don't make it tough on yourselves. You're the ones who made it tough on yourselves. We're begging you! Stop! We surrender! Take us in! Why did you attack us when I already gave you food and funds? Do you have other mouths to feed, aside from what we see here? Hmm, they seem trained. These are not ordinary people. Who are you? Uh, of course we're ordinary people. We, we just we just joined the Exiles recently. We've done some wrongs. I tried to run from the patrollers and left the city, but <laughs> dang! Didn't know the battles up north were so crazy. Our new boss ran out of food before we could even figure out the camp. Figured we'd be better off just to go back to the city and get locked up. Then we ran out of food and cash halfway, so we turned to thieving. We ain't got the balls to rob the army, but with stuff just sitting around, why not? And you all, you are all delusional. Hey, since you're being so generous, how about you throw a little extra cash our way? There's a bunch of us, some injured too. Your first amount ain't gonna cut it for us to survive. We shouldn't give it to them. They should have to work for it. First thing is, they're doing things that are wrong. You don't reward wrong behavior. Wait. What I gave them was enough for them to make it to Jinjo, even when they are so many. I used to travel alone when I left my master. I know how much it takes for someone to survive. Hey, what's wrong with you, girly? It won't hurt to give us more. If you want more, you can go and work for it. Pain comes with coveting. He who knows he has enough is rich. It was only meant to sustain you long enough for you to reach the city. You don't understand, girl. You don't make money very easily at a time like this. If we can't find jobs in the city, we are going to starve again. Just work at our restaurant. They can pay you with food. I came from a seclusive place, learning the ways of the world from scratch. It's been a hard time, but even I have managed to make a living with my own hands. If you really can't find any job in the city, come to Liu Xian Tea House and ask for Jian Xin. I will gladly help you search for jobs and work alongside you. <laughs> fine, fine. 
We'll go. Hurry, move, let's get out of here. I'm not listening to this lecture anymore. No, I wasn't trying to... Wait. Please put that down. Ugh, quite the sharp eye you got. Fine, here you go. Hmm. Is this the only detection beacon you messed with? Heck yeah. The first one we were trying to steal and you bumped right into it. Really? Then why does that one over there seem broken too? Th that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's been that way for ages. Plus, we ain't ever reaching it with all those thorns. I see. You may leave now. The military's base is not far from here. Shall we fix the beacons before going? Yeah, I think we should. Okay. Right up here. Ooh. Should be interesting. There we go. That one's back up and running. Oh, there's a big teleport thing up there. Another big tower. Now our map is bigger. The sound mark that they all have on their bodies on top of that. Hmm. Wow, look at this place. way up there. <gasps> There's another cast kit. Got it. Another teleport thing there. I think I'll get that. I'll go get it right now. It's not too far out of the way. There's a big monster right here. It's red.
played. Okay. Well, it's good to know that I can still do damage to him, even though he's much higher level. Not good, not good. Okay. Let's use this on him. Will you eat that? Going. Yeah, I'm not doing too awful. Oh, really not good. Kind of, uh, not so great that I can't eat a whole bunch of food, like in Genshin. Is that on him? Okay. Oh boy. Okay, I still need time for that. Eat that. Okay, use that on him. Why? Going. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's annoying. I almost had it. I was hitting the button to dodge the thingy, but it wasn't working. What is this for? I found out how to pick that up now. I think maybe I need it for this.
Hello there. Enemy that was hiding. <clears throat> yeah, it'd be cool if I could actually have like food and stuff that'll heal me, but doesn't seem like that is the case. This guy's down here. I want to try fighting him again. I won't yield. Oh my gosh. Getting hit just once will kill me. Guide my blade. Eradicate Swift and resolute. Oh, we're fading. Already off to a bad start again. I gotta really keep my distance. Doesn't help there's another enemy coming. Oh, he has full health again. That's ridiculous. Sounds come forth. Oh my gosh! Man, I want to beat him so bad. Literally, one hit will kill me. I can't get the ti- I can't get the timing done.
So I got one character to try to do all this. And he's got no health. It's just I don't have enough HP. And I can't get the timing down. Data bank is almost five. You know what? I never looked at the store. I think I should have in-game items I can use. Yeah, right here. Hmm. So I can't... Nope, not there. In here, I can do stuff. Okay. Let me do... Do some of these. else there I really need. Let's see what items I got now. So I got six of each. Let me look at this door one more time. Four of that, and then two of these. Okay, so now we can. What does the tutorial want? Okay. Interesting. So now, do an eight pole here. It'd be the last one for that. Oh, that's what those other symbol ones are for. So I could try to get like the sword. Let's try this one first. Got, uh, hero? got her little constellation thingy. Ooh, I got some good. This flower is for you. Oh. I hope it makes you happy. I think this was the character um, Rami was having fun playing. I 
Let's see. What does our skills do? That's the real question. Oh, I get to select someone. How about... Encore seems fun. Phantom Hunter, I see. Hmm. So now that's a choice one, I see. See if we can get uh, GM. Ranger Donjing. Hey, you got her again. Sorry, not. My crimson blade will not harm you as long as you haven't done anything bad. Time for another afternoon consultation, I see. What's new, on your mind today? New character. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the newbie. I got two new ones. Um, so she's got the big sword. So we'll give her that. Did I ever do the sword? Yeah, sword to Voyager I did. Actually, pistol of night. I don't want. Try them out. And then. Basic. I wonder what she does. This thing. it out we still have a long journey ahead of us another field trip I'm ready time to work <laughs> no more lazing around then so let's try these people out huh? interesting Oh, 
wonder what Listen up. Oof. Leg spike. I am so dumb. I just realized I wasn't using the echoes when I was trying to fight the big guy earlier. I am so stupid. their skills do. Huh. Oh, so she can heal herself. I guess this is a skill or something? I don't know. Let's see, where am I? Big guy will be down this way. So if this person can heal themselves, I'm curious if they'll be able to help me get through this. Good. Oh, my dreams. Well, I <laughs> this is gonna go bad. stuff and how to make it work better. Hmm. Yeah, her cherished item was the long whiskers crisp. poses. Hmm. Ancient. 
This one has a rejuvenating effect. Let me upgrade that. A lot of money. <gasps> Let me try using the echoes in the fight this time. Maybe we'll do better. Sucks. Are you all right? Don't know how I lived through most of that. Is the show over? Oh my gosh. doesn't help that her ability makes her lose health. Probably do this puzzle now. Discovery. Okay. Something on top of that building. be a cube or something nearby. Mm. 
put on those. Trippy on the building over here. Let's see, do I just hit these? Hmm. Cherish every gain. Pretty sure that was meant for like, uh, different but oh oh you'll be easy first oh no are you all right oh boy Star. Wonder what this does. Transform into this form a spinning attack. Hmm. Could be good. I don't think I'm gonna do it though. these things where they need to go. Every gain. Okay. Getting closer to where we need to go. The thorns are blocking our path. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. We'll have to clear them before we can reach the beacon. Oh, please be careful. They look sharp. Maybe we can find something nearby to help us deal with them.
Here we go. Remnants of the past. Uh, where did they see thorns? <sighs> oh, up here. I know a way to take care of that now. Let's repair this thing. Back up and running. See, is there anything up here? Oh, there is something. <gasps> I'm so smart. An unexpected discovery. Nothing over there. Master Tianxing, are you all right? Oh boy. This is my first time on a battlefield. It feels so different here. <clears throat> Let's go ask some questions. I know another shipment of supplies has just arrived. I've confirmed it, but it's not nearly enough. We must reach out to the city again and demand more supplies immediately. But the approval process is going to... Tell them it's an emergency. We are working around the clock here. Any delay could mean the end of our defense. Do they not comprehend? Here's a list of what we need. I'll talk to them if you can't make them listen. Now go, go, go. Move, move. What is it? Why are we still not done distributing these? You new here? Hello. Are you backups too? Wait, you don't look like one of us. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. And they are... Yang Yang showed her Midnight Rangers bench. Excuse me, one moment, please. Careful! This chest holds vital medical supplies. If the wounded return and find no medicine, it's on you. Handled with care and precision. An outrider. So, you were part of the backup force, right? Now, I've got wounded soldiers coming soon, and you're just in time to help. Oh, sorry. Have to answer this. Yes, what is it? An overclocked resonator. Understood. I'll be there immediately. I'm sorry, um, could you do me a favor? The, the wounded soldiers are being sent back from the front lines. We need someone to escort them to the medics, but I've got to deal with the overclocked resonator now. Could you please take care of them? What exactly do you need us to do? Just make sure they are safe. The medics will take care of their wounds. Leave it up to us. Thank you. It's so busy here. It looks like they don't even have the time to catch their breath. Supplies, medical care, equipment maintenance, personnel management, and logistics. They must carefully manage these matters to provide vital support for our fighters. So this is what a real war looks like. Yeah. <sighs> I had no idea it could get this bad. Most people would never have the chance to witness any of this. It's natural for you not to know. I think this is exactly what our military strives for, to ensure peace and safety for our citizens. It's a sacrifice made so others don't have to live in fear. Wounded soldiers are here. Let's go check on them. Okay. Are you all right? Uh, I'm okay. I'm just, just a little out of breath. And the way that they recorded these lines is so weird. You don't seem okay. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I don't think you are. I'll go find a medic. 
He brought the medic over to take care of Shingu. Okay. Like I said, it's not a big deal. No need to fix me up. Let me go. I don't think you're okay. Please calm down. Your wound is still bleeding. That's barely a scratch. You can't stop me. Now's not the time for bravado. <sighs> That's not bravado. My wounds can close on their own. It's my resonance ability. The medics should go take care of other people in need. Stop squirming, will you? We're here because you need our help. Calm down and stay where you are. Please hold him still for me. Sure. After some chaos, you helped medics in treating the wounded. And at least the men are dedicated to the cause. Thank you for your assistance. You must be tired. Please take some rest. No, we're fine. We just got here. They look badly injured. Don't worry. They've received proper treatment now. They'll recover in time. Thanks to General Jian, we've seen a significant drop in the number of casualties. I've heard from veterans that soldiers used to be ordinary people, not resonators. The battles were brutal even back then, with the stench of blood lingering through the rain. But things have improved. Each injury represents countless tacit discords eliminated by our brave soldiers. Resonators in the Midnight Rangers are incredible warriors. Those who have to retreat from injury must have already taken out hundreds of enemies. They are our heroes. They are the ones keeping our people safe. What I've been doing is not worth mentioning compared to them. Please don't put it like that. Without your help, we couldn't have helped so many wounded soldiers in such a short time. Now that they're all safe, you should go and take care of your own issues. Thank you. May I ask where the Quartermaster is? The Quartermaster isn't here. He's on the floor above, directing munitions distribution. Just take that lift and you should find him there. All right. Rover, where are we going next? I want to talk to the Quartermaster too. Here are some recipes for dietary supplements from my sect. They might help the wounded recover sooner. Oh, great. You have my thanks. Okay. Time to head up. Going up. Okay. Let's activate this. this need to go they wouldn't have a cube without a reason Confirm the inventory. What about a spare list? Sort out the consumables as soon as possible and check our communication lines while you're at it. Ewa, uh, deliver this list to Asha. Uh, you're not Ewa. Uh. Where is she? What do you need? Excuse me. I'm an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. This is Rover, and this is Master Tianxing who came here to look for someone. Hmm. Seem very busy. Jinjo is the gateway to Huanlong, and the Desert Rock Island is the gateway to Jinjo. A single breach could have dire consequences. Our defense must hold at all costs. 
The tacit discords are not humans. They don't do truces or ceasefires. For as long as they exist, this war will rage on endlessly. Supply is the lifeblood of our army, and I am tasked with keeping it flowing. But now we are facing a shortage. Hmm. You need our help? I saw you help arrange the wounded there. Your show lamb would need your help more than I do. Thank you, but I must remain to oversee vital military supplies. Hmm. A task of who we're looking for. Shixian asked the quartermaster about uh, Xiaoyan's whereabouts. Juyan? So he never sent a letter home? Not even once? The Midnight Rangers are no longer recruiting non-resonators lately. <laughs> but Juyan was a stubborn boy. Last year, when the battles hadn't gotten so intense, he would trail us rear guards, eager to join the front line. Now, we sent him back to the city time and time again, and he just kept finding ways to come back. Eventually, I caved and took him in to help us here in the base. With the battle escalating, it's getting increasingly dangerous out here. I shouldn't keep him here any longer. I was just thinking about having the logistics team bring him back to the city when you guys showed up. Oh, now I remember. He should be currently on the floor above. Okay, let's go take a look. Sure. Please excuse me. I'll join you later. We'll be there soon. What? What are you doing? What's going on? Oh! <laughs> Please excuse me. Thought that was a grenade. <laughs> Is this a mangosteen? What do you know about the mango steam? Well, it's not a local fruit, so we can only get it through imports. But with the recent tacit discord outbreaks, we've had to prioritize bringing in the essentials. We'll get back to importing more of these after General Jian makes his triumphant return. Now, currently, there's only one waterway open from Port Gunchao in the south of the city. Now, the rear guards would regularly go there to escort goods. Hmm. Hmm. What more do I know? The military rarely buys this fruit for rations due to its short shelf life. Plus, it, it looks too much like a grenade, and that could cause some issues. A grenade? It's a type of old-fashioned explosive. The lament caused a global technological regression and shortage of resources. While tacitite weapons were being developed, most people had limited knowledge of tacitite as an energy source. As a result, primitive products combining old and new technology emerged. The hand grenade was one of them. With the rapid growth of tacitite weapons, these crude explosives were eventually phased out in favor of more advanced weaponry. Thank you for the information. Hmm. It's another running challenge. Show me the thing to try to latch on. Oh, I just barely made it. Come on. Let's try that again.
them up here. Maybe that's why I need the other thing down there. How would I throw it up here, though? Hmm, worth a try. Let's see, how can we get this up there? The end has come. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. every gain solved it hello master chen sing have you found the person you're looking for yes i found zhu yan we will return to the city with the logistics team we will go find mr zhang ye to let him know he is safe i heard ji yan didn't want to leave Zhuyan is a man full of courage. Influenced by his veteran grandpa's tales, he longs to join the military and aid in humanity's battle against tacit discords. The journey with you has exposed me to immense suffering, but the battles on the front line must be even more brutal than what I've witnessed. Countless lives have been lost in this war. Master Rongfu once told me, the best sages gain enlightenment in the military. The mediocre sages gain enlightenment in the bustling cities, and the worst sages gain enlightenment in seclusion. I do share some of Juyan's feelings. However, Juyan disagreed with the intense training and tests required to join the military. He saw no distinction between ordinary people and resonators, and believed he could contribute on the battlefield, however small that contribution might be. Hmm. He can contribute better without fighting on the front lines. I too found what Zhuyan said was reasonable to an extent, and I couldn't change his mind with words. So I tried to imagine what my masters would do. They'd set up a spar in this case, and if I won, they'd let me do what I wanted. So you beat him up? I didn't mean to beat him up for nothing. My masters taught me valuable lessons through sparring, and I gained important insights from those fights. Now, who do you think won that fight? You pretended to lose. The shape <laughs> changes, but not the forms. The more it moves, the more it yields. Less thinking, more knowing. Simplify for clarity. Yes, I pretended to lose, but Juyan saw it through. After our fight, Zhuyan admitted he saw the gap between resonators and ordinary people. He seemed to realize how he was still far from being able to fight the tacit discords. He realized how he was just trying to convince himself that he could make a difference, not wanting to acknowledge his own limitations. Fighting on the battlefield requires physical and mental strength, and he was not yet prepared for that. Hmm. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. When you have the time, let's catch up at Liu Shan Tea House. All right. It's my great pleasure to have met you. 
Very well. Well, what do you think, Yang Yang? Us running into Master Tianxing was a one-off incident. If the Mangostine indicates something about war, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Hmm. Could be that she wants me to meet someone like the Yian General. Have you thought of something, Rover? I think. Mangosteen's route of transportation. So Madam Magistrate wants to tell us something about the Mangosteen's route of transportation? The Quartermaster said the Mangosteens are transported by boat from the south. <sighs> we haven't reached the front lines yet, but I can already smell the iron in the air. I sense tension and unease. <clears throat> Our soldiers stationed at the borders. <sighs> I hope they're okay. Uh oh. Something's happening to me. Uh oh. He's cool. He's got good combos. Playing us in now. Okay. Fight the bird somehow. Okay, that did like no damage. Retreat to advance. Fight the time. Time to fight back. Tell truth from the side. Oh 
boy. Hearing Gang Hang's call, you slowly wake back up, What's I guess. What's the matter? Are you alright? I may have resonated with a tacit discord. Oh, I was worried. You just stood there and gazed into the distance. You were unresponsive when I tried talking to you. What did you see? It felt as if I was seeing through the eyes of a tacit discord. I think... I saw what was happening in the Norfall Barrens. Uh... Scribe the General. An imposing warrior wielding the power of a Tinglong. The Tinglong is the Midnight Ranger's emblem. It's also the symbol of General Tian, the leader of all Midnight Rangers. The front lines are not far from here. General Tian must be there, fighting alongside our soldiers to keep the tacit discords away. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a coincidence. We arrived near the battlefield right when General Tien was leading an attack against the tacit discords. Your vision. It might be what was happening on the battlefield not far away. Something's not right. The battle itself is a clear sign of an anomaly. The streams from the Norfolk Barrens feel more suffocating than ever. Over. Something on that battlefield must be connected to you. Though we have no idea what it is. There's always been a voice. But I didn't hear anything. Or sense any frequencies. Maybe I can? Rover? According to Baija, the leaves showed residual fluctuations of tacit discords. Those fluctuations pointed to a certain set of coordinates. Yeah. And that is... Teacher Village and the Central Plains. Indeed. As I make myself reflect on my goals and plans, those voices in the streams become clearer, and everything starts to make more sense. Yeah? Rover, perhaps you can give it a try. I can certainly try. Purple leaf with traces of dual tacit discord frequencies. So maybe this has to do with the battlefield? Okay. Let's try doing some of these. I need some practice on dodging and parrying if there's a way to. Excuse me. Oh. Level 90.
Dang, I'm taking down a level 90 pretty easy. Interesting. Kill it. Yeah, did it. Nice. Loading screens take a little bit of time every so often. I just realized there is another thing in the guidebook. Let's try this one. Easy. That's real fast. Okay. Okay. So can I do these now? Probably not. That's okay. You know guys, there's a monster right at your base and you're not doing anything about it. Say I made five? I did. Claim these. Stamina's up now. Um, what's I thinking of? Just a second ago. Uh, 
was I thinking? I, I forgot. 60 wave points. Now I remember. You've got a thingy I can upgrade. Okay. Another running thing. The discovery. Disperse. Guide my blade. find on our way down some people fighting there this must be the place I sensed something ominous from the leaf back there, but I couldn't pinpoint its source. And now, the hatred and pain is so strong in this place, I don't even need to concentrate to feel it. So this is where they were fighting. Each tacit field has a unique special buff. A tacit field located in the central plains periodically generates a concerto energy. Sphere, which recovers conservative energy and deals AoE damage after you cast intro skill. And now, the hatred and pain is so strong in this place. I don't even need to concentrate a field. Oh boy. Grover, something terrible must have happened here. We have to be cautious. This is a tacit field. Let's take out those tacit discords first. Lions rumble, evil crumble! Okay. Ha -ha. Purify it, I guess. I think I found something, Rover. Oh, look at that. What have you found? There's a few spots to go to.
ritualistic wooden plaques. Then why are they here? These plaques are usually placed in ancestral shrines. And they seem to belong to a different time. I remember reading about something like this. People held large-scale ancient rituals periodically in their villages, driven by certain beliefs. I see. Let's check somewhere else. Okay. <sighs> what is this? Watch out! <gasps> Something's not right. Why wouldn't it attack us? <sighs> Brother. <sighs> Help. Help. I'll talk to it. Brother. Br Brother. Help. <sighs> Who is your brother? Help. It seems to only repeat these lines. This is not a common tacit discord. Tacit discords attack other living beings because they need to feed on those frequencies to make themselves whole again. When frequencies are scattered and recombined, a new tacit discord is born. This one probably devoured the frequencies of humans, turning the last bits of a human's consciousness into such monotonous mumbles. Are these words the last cries of someone innocent? Who is behind this twisted plot? He crouched down, a hand on the tacit's head, and she... Oh, didn't read it all. It's too fast. I'm sorry. Are you talking to it? No, that's beyond my ability. I just sensed some complex feelings from it. A mixture of deep sadness and eager anticipation. Rover, I think I know what's going on here. Go ahead. It seems to be begging for help, but it's not asking us to help it. I can sense the pained cries of this tacit discord. No, the cries of this whole village. The village is crying, waiting for rescue. Something truly awful must have happened here and the victim's reverberations still linger. Based on the evidence we've found and the condition of these ruins, that didn't happen all too long ago. I can still feel it in the streams. Perhaps the tacit field has kept this village from being discovered, or maybe someone has been intentionally concealing it. Anyway, there must be something we can do. We may find the victims nearby, I can feel someone connected to what happened here is still close. This place is dangerous. I'll inform Chusia about what happened here. Can we continue our search before the official investigators arrive? Sorry, I know it doesn't sound very convincing. It's just a hunch of mine, and I don't have any evidence to back it up. This is where Jindishi's token has pointed to. Thank you, Rover. Please stay vigilant. As for the little one here, let's leave it be. You sure that's a good idea? <sighs> the area is a mess, but it doesn't look like a war zone. Someone was hurt and dragged away. Mm. Look, there are many footprints here. These are traces left by a fight. Someone was injured. Hmm. Someone was injured during These a fight cards. and dragged away. Uh, the Fraxidus is likely behind it all. The Fraxidus? Yes. I don't know much about the Fraxidus, but as an outrider, I've worked on related cases. It's a group of extremists obsessed with fusing humans with tacit discords. They've caused terror attacks of various scales around the world. So it's probably the evil guys in red that I see all over the place. Fusing humans and tacit discords. We've seen signs of their presence in Jinzhou. 
left by lower-ranked members called Artificers. Above the Artificers are the Overseers, leaders with eerie abilities and unknown intentions. They pose a far bigger threat. No one knows their true intentions. Some members speak of world destruction, while others claim they seek eternal power. And there is one particularly insane overseer. He's crazy even by Fraxida's standards. A man who sees no order and revels in destruction. I've seen similar cards in the physical evidence file of the Fraxida's related cases. Seems like we have some no-gooders on our hands. They belong to this one overseer I'm talking about. They call him... Scar. If he's responsible for what happened to these villagers, who knows what kind of cruel and twisted atrocities he's capable of. Yeah. Let's see if we can find anything else. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Not good. Guess you won't need my self introduction. Oh, I spent. Oh, boy. Scar. If you need to hear it from me, then yes, I am Scar. Cruel and twisted maniac. Where is Yang Yang? We deserve a meeting free of such disturbances, don't you agree? The girl, she's gonna sway your judgment. Hmm. What do you want? Don't worry. I don't plan to make you hate me just yet. She is safe now. Well, let's just enjoy our time together for the moment. Forget about that irrelevant person, will you? I have a lot to share with you. To begin with, I heard you've lost your memories. How did you know? So, it's true. That makes sense, given how fragile you were when you woke up, or I would have questioned the authenticity of those rumors. You followed me. So you noticed. Oh, I am flattered. No need to be so on edge. By now, you should have realized I'm just one of the onlookers. But out of all the onlookers, I'm the only one who came forward to meet you with absolute honesty. Before you knew anything about this world, you were already the center of conflict. You are the unknown variable we've been waiting for. Forces have been fighting for possession over you. From the moment you opened your eyes, everyone you've met, including that girl you care so much about, they all knew how valuable you are. The world is a cruel place. You are a living, breathing person, but you're just a pawn to many. I have to say, I didn't know if I was going to like him. I do like this villain. He's not, like, so crazy that you dislike him. But he's also good at raising points that are true. That's why I'm here. Because I see you as a dear friend, and I want to tell you the truth. I am so, so sorry for everything you're about to face. But truth hurts sometimes.
as if you were any different. <laughs> I know you are not one I can sway with simple words. My goal is simple. I just want to deepen our mutual understanding, nothing more. Come on. Observe the surroundings a little more and tell me what you see. Houses were attacked from above, probably from that bird. As you learn more about this world, your true desires will surface. And our little game will become even more entertaining. And before that, I don't want anyone to disturb my precious alone time with you. That's all. What did the Francis do to this village? Ah, uh, why do you have to assume we are the culprits? Maybe you should be asking me what actually happened here. You know, it would be a sad twist. He's not actually a horrible guy like everyone thinks, and this was his village. But I do think there's something off about him. I won't tell you everything just yet. That's too boring. As I said, why don't you take a look around and see for yourself? So go ahead. What do you see? It's a large-scale ritual. Bravo! Didn't think you'd catch on to that. Now, what is the conclusion you've drawn? Hmm. I don't know about this. He's saying they didn't do it. So I guess I'll play along with what he wants to hear, maybe, and see if I get any information. Villagers killed each other. I see you don't really trust those villagers. Ah, so they were right about you. You are indeed quite exceptional. I like it. Your keen observation, precise judgment, and... Accurate understanding of human nature. Let me give you a couple more tips. The truth is far more complicated than you think. First, who are the players in our tale? An innocent girl, a revered leader, and a flock of simple villagers. Next, what makes up our main plot? False devotion, fleeting kindness, collective deceit, senseless killings, and the one vulnerable soul pushed onto a path of destruction by the masses. Now, Rover, the story is yours to spin. I'm eager to hear your version after you've learned more. Kind of like Scar. He's smart, he's kind of cool. A crumpled page from a children's book rests on torn pieces of diary paper with childish handwriting. Hi, I'm blank. Not a new home. A nice uncle gave me the cool new book to write in. Our old home was scared by monsters. So we went on a super long journey to find this new place. I asked when mommy and daddy would catch up with me, and uncle said, really soon. Can't wait for them to join us here. The new place is so sunny and has a huge tree that grows peaches. Not many people from here go to the big city though. I just want mommy and daddy to find me quick. Today is my birthday. Everyone is being really nice, saying I'm their lucky charm because I can keep these mean monsters away. I'm really happy and everyone likes me lots. We have cake and noodles and I got some presents too. It's been forever since I saw mommy and daddy though. Hope they come back. Will they come back? 
This marks my fourth birthday here, and our village had made it official. I'm his daughter now. Before that, everyone was already been taking care of me and shared me with delicious meals. My father told me I'm a child of the Quishi village, and I should consider myself lucky. I feel really fortunate to be loved by so many people. Even though my powers are still small, I'll do my best to continue protecting the village from being invaded by the Tasset discords. Hmm. Our story begins here. Once upon a time, in a peaceful village, lived a flock of carefree lambs. In the day, they toiled for food, and when evening fell, they sought refuge from the looming threat of wolves. Quite the storyteller, aren't you? Fables. Stories told and retold through the ages. The ancient art of conveying hidden truths through fiction. Okay. You're fine. Let's see. But they always draw from real life, don't they? The same story gets told by many, and each person brings their own spin, their own focus. Whatever you learn from it is just one of countless different interpretations. That's true. Like us now, caught in a carefully crafted plotline, a scheme I had no hand in. This village marks the beginning of my story with Jinjo. <laughs> so that magistrate led you here to meet me. <sighs> Such a clever move on her part. Ooh, I'm glad I got things correct then. Oh, this thing's moving. I think the scar isn't so bad. The tree branches are loaded with paper slips, each holding a wish for someone. Words are on most of the notes were soaked and no longer readable. Will this really work? I wish I could stand up again. I want money. I want so much money. I can't spend the rest of my life. Amazing. Thank you, Lord. My legs really grew back. No. They just died and she left me a sum of money. I don't want my wish to come true with this. I want my mother back. I want... Black. Strange. It did make me stronger, but lately I seem to be getting weak again. I can't... My body without... Is it because I haven't sacrificed enough? Please, 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 don't take away my wish. I'll give you anything. Is really what we all wanted. So they made wishes. They ended up being dire consequences for each wish. Another crumpled page from a children's book half buried in the mud. One day, a shepherd visited the village. The shepherd brought them promises of abundance and protection. The lambs, drawn in by his words, soon lived in comfort and security. Is that the end of your story? No, nope. quite the opposite. The shepherd's arrival is only the beginning. With a wave of his hand, the shepherd could grant their every wish. His flock obeyed bowing their heads, pleading for better food and shelter. They no longer had to struggle for survival, as their once meager lives were replaced with endless luxury. The flock worshipped their shepherd-turned-god, praising him and holding him in the highest regard. What's wrong? Does my story make you uncomfortable? No. Imagine you were one of those lambs, facing irresistible temptation and pressure from your peers. Wouldn't you bow down and beg for food from your master? We are all created equal, 
There should be no hierarchy. Oh, so we agree already. You are right. But the world we live in falls short of our ideals. The shepherd still reigns, and the lambs have grown complacent. It's up to the two of us to make that ideal world a reality. Hmm. It's interesting. And I'm sure there's something about him that is not correct. But so far, his logic hasn't been the worst. A crumpled page from a children's book, silently wrestling on the ground. The lambs reveled in endless bonfire parties, celebrating their new god every night. Except the one little black lamb. That must have been the little girl. As each night passed, it was the only one to notice how its flock was dwindling away. Rover, do you think someone would give you what you want without taking anything from you? I believe in quid pro quo. Mm. <laughs> I once believed that too. Thought as long as I paid a high enough price, I could get my desired outcome. But true equality is scarce, always has been. The world was never a fair place. Wouldn't you agree? Mm, I would suppose so. To receive equal retribution, one must give more and more and more. When every wish comes with a hefty price, people weigh their options carefully. Yes. When they can make someone else bear the price. I see. They all rush to make more wishes. They don't consider they too may one day pay for another's selfish desire. Funny, isn't it? Hmm. So I wonder if the ruler of Jingzhuo actually wanted me to meet him, does she have ties with him? I found some stains on the wall. Zooming in closer, look. I can make out some blurry text. Words like monster, witch, banish her. And all her fault are written thickly on the wall. A crumpled page from a children's book silently wrestling on the ground. Later, the shepherd openly blamed the black lamb for the flock's decline. On the next day, the white lambs welcomed the rising sun as usual. But the black lamb was nowhere to be found. The shepherd introduced an unspoken rule to this village. One that our black lamb violated by telling the truth. Suddenly, the once doting god stopped fulfilling wishes because no more sacrifices were being made. After witnessing the black lamb's actions and hearing from their almighty shepherd, what do you suppose the white lambs did? Targeted the black lamb. Ah, those oblivious lambs. Little did they know the most fearsome demon was right under their noses. Hmm. I think you're cool. You're also really tall. Well done. You didn't let any details slip. Now, I wonder, what is your takeaway from this story? Answer me and I'll reveal the truth of what happened. Who was the real culprit behind the diminishing number of lambs? I mean, technically there's two answers. The shepherd, 
but it's also the white lambs. I'm gonna go with the shepherd. Indeed, the direct culprit was the shepherd. He held all the power, fulfilling wishes at a price. The lambs knew the risks, yet succumbed to temptation. Unfortunately, in the face of such temptation, they disregarded all the hidden risks, as disaster had yet to befall them. If they were given another chance, I believe they would still choose the same path. Inevitably, they accepted their fate and paid the price when their time came. Now, my second question. What price did the lambs pay for their wishes? Hmm. I want to say their lives. But these are all somewhat good answers. Of course, as always, life was the most valuable thing they had to offer. Here's my final question. What happened to the black lamb? Ah, 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 ah. Don't rush, Rover. Take your time. What is the truth you've uncovered? It was executed because its flock was deceived. The shepherd was granting wishes by sacrificing the lives of lambs. The flock never found out about it. They were deceived to believe the black lamb was the culprit. Almost there, Rover. Oh, that wasn't it? Little lambs cowered and huddled in their village, terrified of the relentless wolf packs. Until a shepherd arrived, bearing the gift of wishes and providing shelter and sustenance. Slowly, the shepherd gained control over the flock, and the lambs lived contented lives. But this is not the end of our story. The shepherd found the solitary black lamb in his flock and offered to grant any wish it desired. In exchange, he wanted one of its companions as a sacrifice. Hmm. The black lamb refused and it was shunned by its flock, left without shelter or sustenance. After the black lamb's exile, more lambs continued to vanish. The shepherd then blamed the black lamb for breaking the rules and withheld his wish-granting power as punishment. From the very beginning, the lambs knew the risk of making wishes. They too could become sacrifices for those of others. But they always believed it wouldn't be them. Mm. Meanwhile, some lambs reasoned that since they had already risked being sacrificed for someone else's wish, it was then only fair to pass on that risk for a chance at fulfilling their own desires. And so they continued to play the game. They all knew the consequences, but chose to remain silent. Fearful, yet greedy, they followed the shepherd's orders and made wishes again and again. Until one day, a brave black lamb spoke up, shattering the flock's facade, their illusion of a peaceful and happy life. The black lamb got in their way, and that of the shepherd's greedy pursuit, sparking hatred in their hearts. Suddenly, they could no longer ignore the blood and ashes.
ashes of past sacrifices littering the ground. How do you like my story, Rover? What really happened here, I suppose you already have it figured out? The Black Lamb who rebelled against the rules, and the White Lambs who succumbed to their greed. The innocent maiden sacrificed, and the villagers who turned on each other in a ruthless frenzy. They had it coming. All the Shepherd had to do was execute the rebel. That's how he kept the flock in check and maintained the status quo. That's why you became a shepherd yourself. Fun answer, but no. Not even close. I was never the shepherd. Never will be. You and I, we are the Black Lamb. The one who breaks the rules. Interesting. Oof. He who fights too long against dragons becomes a dragon himself. <laughs> Interesting, Rover. <laughs> I'm liking you more and more. Well then, let's see if this black lamb is going to end up like you say. So you're gonna fight me now? Oh boy. Time for a fight. Okay. So break scars, Elysium, whatever that is. Hmm. Well, let's head over here. Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. Now is your time to think, Rover. What is the right path to take? Oh. You found us already. It would seem so. Shake and shiver, blink an eye. A flock of lambs comes passing by. Fleece of white, black, and red. Who's the sweetest one ahead? Watch out, my dear. Your pioneers are lying at your feet. Don't look back. Join them on this right path, and I've got a scorchingly delightful welcome for you up ahead. Uh-uh-uh, don't rush. Oh. One slip, and you'll shatter to pieces. Yeah. yeah. Such speed. Such brutality. <laughs> Can't you see? We are kindred spirits after all. Don't be so quick to deny it. Now that I have you here standing before me, I'd love to hear your answers. Interesting. Tell me, do you want to be the rule-setting shepherd or the rule-breaking black lad? If a sane person manages to survive in a realm of lunatics, would you call them the last one of reason? Or the sole apostle? Think about it! The shepherd is not the preordained embodiment of truth! Once he is gone for good, the Black Lamb can reclaim the trust of its herd. Then, eventually, there will be none left to be oh. victims or oppressors! 
Interesting. This is my curtain call. Oh boy. What's happening now? Hello there. Gang gang. I shattered Scar's illusion. That should have injured him. Oh! Should I thank you for showing me mercy? Stay away from him! Oh, there she is. Uh, didn't you promise to leave me some alone time with Rover? With one condition. I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. <sighs> Look at you, rushing in to protect your precious, perfect movement. No worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Rover, it seems our happy little date must come to an end. But don't forget my sincere reminders. Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? An honest and open exchange? Or a highly risky gamble? Mm. The choice is yours. I know how smart you are. You won't make a hasty decision. We'll meet again in the not too distant future. They're gone. Should we go after them? Hmm. Never mind. Are you all right? Oh, don't worry. I'm okay. Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. He trapped me in confinement. And I could only sense that it wasn't far from here. It took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. If only I could have reached you sooner. You're safe now. That's all I care. <laughs> Brother. Brother. Huh? Why are you here, little one? Probably went hiding out of fear. I've never seen any tacit discord display such vivid emotions. The brother had mentioned. Could it be... Scar? Yes, that is a possibility. Since Scar had been here before. Let's talk about it later. Rover. Can you fill me in on what happened? You told Yang Yang about what had happened. It seems all the tragedies in Tea Tree Village were linked to that ritual. Scar was feeding me bits of info. Making up stories based on real life to support his twisted beliefs? That does sound like something he might do. We cannot take his words for granted. Now, we must locate where the ritual took place and see for ourselves. 
Yes, we should give it a check. But there's someone watching us. Hmm. What's the matter? Nothing. Two distinct frequencies of tacit discords. I see. I can feel it in the streams. Over there. Follow me. In the south. Who is watching me? Oh. That's who. They are unharmed. Please rest assured. As you anticipated, Scar did not try to kill them. Yes, I stayed out of it like you asked. Is everything all right on your end? Please be sure to stay safe, my lady. All right. Rover, do you still have the plaque we found earlier? The one broken in half? Yes, as I thought. I just felt a similar vibration from that direction. Please follow me. What's up here? It's the missing half. We can piece them together now. Okay. I can change people mid glide, huh? That's interesting. Place the wooden plaque on the stone. Jeez, that text is so fast. How do they expect you to read it all? It's something they should work on. I'm trying to read it all, but I can't I even get can't through it. it. There is such a big opening down here. How odd. This place should have been soaked in water, but everything is dry here. Even the vegetation is thriving. Hmm. Did Scar do this? Give it... That seems like... That tree... There's a tacit field it's here. It's stunning. It's almost eerily enchanting. Please, save us. Oh boy. Are you trying to tell us about... something hidden here? Interesting. Something going on right there. Where did it go? Huh, is that a diary? <clears throat> Today a strange man came to our village. He said I can call him my brother. If I don't mind. He was really friendly, but for some reason he felt different from the other people in my village. He seemed to know a lot about me. He even said we were of the same kind. He told me a really strange fairy tale. The ending of the fairy tale was kind of scary. The reality was even scarier, he said. Then asked, what would you do if you were the little black lamb? Before I could think of a reply, he had already left with a cryptic see you next time. I told father about it, but he said no one like that had ever visited our village. Who could he be? Oh boy. I need a better feature for scrolling on this. Sorry. So sorry. If only I weren't so weak. I could have driven away those tacit discords. If Sissy hadn't had to protect me. There must be a way. Father said I can manipulate the frequencies of tacit discords and humans. Sissy. So sorry. You look like this now. It is only temporary. I'll do everything I can to return you to what you were before. I know you can still hear me. Father promised me he'll surely find a way to help. 
It's been three months since that incident. Father doesn't seem to remember I'm still keeping a diary. He gave me the notebook to me. But if he found out I'd been writing about everything, he'd be so mad. He orders me to do what he says and use my powers to recombine frequencies of Tess at Discords. But if anyone finds out about the truth, that Sissy, who went missing, actually died trying to protect me, then I turned her into a horrifying Tess at Discord. They will see me as a monster. I will be banished and no one will ever understand or accept me with what I can do. No one except him. With the dead really come back through frequency manipulation? And if so, what would happen to their shattered souls? Trapped inside their new bodies? I don't really know. Every day I feel more and more uneasy. People in the village are disappearing and those tacit discords father has brought back. I can't shake the feeling that something is very wrong. I am trapped like a moth to a flame, unable to escape the dark path. I don't know what my father did. It must have been something terrible for the tension and uneasy here. I'm not allowed outside anymore, and when I ask why, he just brushes it off. The price for my wish to come true is more bloodshed. I. The villagers have surrounded our house. They must have learned about it all. The murderer. Is that what they call me now? Perhaps my father too. At this point, what difference does it make? After all that has happened, can someone come and save me? I must pay the price for Kinji village. If there's a god, I hope they can save my village. At the end of the diary entry, you see a message in another handwriting. It seems you are the luckier one. Hmm. Interesting. What do you think, Yang Yang? That girl just wanted to save her village. But those sacrifices didn't lead to redemption. I guess the tacit discord we saw stayed here to convey her last wishes. Please excuse me. It's getting a bit too cold here. Can we head back now? Sure thing. <clears throat> Sorry, Rover. I didn't feel comfortable down there. It's alright. The air was heavy in that place, without any wind to speak of. But I could still feel so many emotions and desperate cries for help. I... I couldn't handle it. The villagers were a complex mix of emotions. Hope, resentment, and despair. What was the diary's owner longing for? Was it the peaceful life she once had? Or did she miss her only family? The person who pushed her towards such a tragic end? My apologies. I got lost in thoughts again. I understand. I wish I could say such tragedies won't happen again, but I still lack the confidence to make that claim. It was tragedies like this that made me want to become an outrider, to become someone with the strength to stop them from ever happening again. I cannot stop the lament, but at least I should do everything in my power to help those affected by it. Hmm. I'm going to say I'm with you, because I don't know if we can necessarily trust anyone. Really? Thank you, Rover. Dwelling on it won't do us any good. Let's go. I'll compile a report on what happened here, and send it in along with the clues we've gathered. Yes, let's go back. Together. Hmm. Now I need to grind if I want to do anything. So is this their like daily or weekly 
things. Phase Ascension 1. By reaching the soul, the higher soul 3 phase, you will have the opportunity to gain more rewards. After defeating the enemies or clearing scenario spheres, however, you warn that the enemies you encounter will also be more dangerous and vice versa. Okay. Resonator to 30. Is that something I can do now? It's in our skill tutorial. Might as well do these because it'll give us the stuff for summoning people. All screen. <laughs> Put them away. Okay. Interesting. <sighs> Interesting. This guy's fast. Try this out. So I want to use the Y, then put Shut up in all directions. Interesting. Light coming up. Resistance is futile. I like this guy's moves. Cool. Plus maximum voltage. Okay, I think I know everything I need to do. Nice that they have like a way of rewarding you of learning the characters. It is natural to feel dreadful of the unknown. Yet, there are. Okay, it's something new. So this must be like their, um, uh, like their weekly thing, maybe? Or monthly thing, I mean? Well, there's a weekly limit. Well, this lasts a little longer than one month, I guess. Let's see, if I take the... Free path. Will I ever get a weapon? Let's 
is this? Interesting. Okay, so at 55 to 60, I could get the chest that... So you basically have like two opportunities on the... Well, actually, that's not true. It's got three. It's five. So you get five chances for a weapon, but you have to like... You have to play this a lot to get there. Interesting. So it wants me to go to a theater. He's still level 45? Yeah. Oh boy. Heavy sounds are fading. I don't think it's very fair that you took me out while I was switching in. Light oh boy. Is fading. That's the thing, I really don't like that he can still hit me after I die and I'm swapping into my next new character. That's a little bogus, but... That's not the thing I'm looking for. Okay, it's right here. So, I guess I can just go in order. I do like this one's like all plant themed and she's got like the vines and stuff. Attacks, that's nice. Photosynthesis. Bask in the sunlight. What does that do? Luminous energy. <laughs> Interesting. Slowly learning. I feel dumb for forgetting the echoes every time I'm in battle.
This one I already know pretty well. I like this fighting style. Man, this air attack's good. It's a little annoying that they don't take me back to the guidebook page where I started the trial. Huh. Learning the my guys moves is probably good for me to learn because I don't know exactly what they all do. It's not that complicated. Let's see, how many more do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six more. <clears throat> I can't believe we've been I've been streaming for five hours. Probably the longest stream I've ever done. I've been having fun though. Three melodies are in midair. Okay. Interesting. Tempest. Let the winds roar. At least these are fast and easy. Okay. 
This runs. As much as the heavy attacks are slow, I do want to try to learn them. Nice thing is, she has a skill that lets her heal. I guess she can parry with that, maybe? Hmm. That's something I should try out to see if that skill... This, this one actually parries or anything. really nice that she can heal herself is the main thing. Okay. Thought I was going to be smart and just immediately go to the next one. Apparently I do have to leave. Almost done with them all, though. Ha! This one? I don't like her way of attacking very much. First aid. Hmm. Commence healing. So she can heal herself as well. Transmitting frequency. Why is it not working? Rejuvenating snow. Okay. Still don't like hers very much. Alto. Let's see what he's like. I haven't tried him at all. Now he's a gunner. Oh, 
Take your time. I'm doing wrong. Get it. Basic and mid-air attack bullets additionally restore mist drops if they pass through mist. How's that for a magic trick? I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, accumulate mist drops, but how do I do that? Oh, there we go. Here, in the nick of time. Interesting. Back, pleasure doing business. It was confusing. It is natural to feel. Let's see. Thing left is dashing. I liked hers when I first saw it when I did the character trial, but once I learned that it takes away her HP, I just don't see the point. that one combo it showed me just a second ago. Mr. Alt is an AoE. Should have all the character trials done now. So if we take a look. Yep, all done.
So I can ascend now. That's cool. This power, it's mysterious yet reassuring nonetheless. Okay. No more slacking off now that you're here to help. I should practice harder. So now I'm probably going to struggle to level people up. My crimson blades are lasting longer, and my whole body feels so light. I never knew this sword could feel so light in my hands. Who did you know? Okay, so I can ascend my weapons now as well. Nice. Guardian pistols, huh? Let's upgrade this. Why does this show up? Thankfully, let's undo that, lock that. Got this blade maxed out for now. So I hope the increased damage helps. Gets me a So I want. They're not exactly great gauntlets, but. Uh, before I do anything else. Lock that. There we go. There's a fly in my room. It's driving me crazy. Oops, that wasn't done. Get higher level now. Should help me. Let me try fighting this guy. Don't 
Don't worry, I've got this. Okay. Beat him. Finally. Helps restore HP, so let me try that out. And then... Let's swap his out. With a wolf. And honestly, I can upgrade it. Um, All right, I'm out of money. I forgot. Time to go exploring, I guess. Hey guys. My time to shine. I just need more... I need 20 more data bank XP. I got more stuff. something I can upgrade. Cool. I want to send you. My heart is beating faster, and I can hear my blood rushing. This newfound strength is making me feel a bit wrecked. I've never felt such strength in me. It's all thanks to you, isn't it? 
I am forever grateful, Rover, for everything you've done for me. Mm. Yeah. I don't think... I think I know how to get there if I get... We'll go try though. It is natural to feel dreadful of the unknown, yet there are times when the unknown harbors hope, like how I can never know what else this power has to offer. No hesitation. to bring back a bunch of the orange butterfly things here to this. Interesting. There's butterflies up there. part of that. There's another one up there. The hour is upon us. <laughs> Easy. An unexpected discovery.
Two more. Remnants of the past. I sent your weakness. My time to shine. Perfect. Cherish every gain. These vehicles look way different than the other ones that were in the city. There we go. An unexpected discovery. Still don't know what the premium tuners are for. That's what I need to go to. It's behind me. Big red uh, teleport thing up there. I could try to stop by there, maybe. Need to find out how to make healing items. Oh no. of the past. Why is it that's not powering this one? This 
one is going to be a tricky puzzle. Maybe I have to turn it. I see. <sighs> and realize that at first. Expected discovery. Okay. like an abandoned base. to where I'm trying to go. I sense your weakness. Remnants of the past. My chest. Items glitched through that platform. Expected discovery. I guess they were just trying to protect that chest, maybe. Right next to it. 
must be up the mountain. Oh, maybe it's this. <laughs> I suppose this is where I was heading anyway. Got a bit of a map. There's a boss around here. Right below me. Oh boy. Oh, it's the bird. Oh no, never mind. How do I stop it? Don't worry, I've got this. How's that? Guide my blade. Why right now? Why is it doing is that now? Over? That's BS, I died because of that. Ooh. 
feel like during that, the only person I actually played well was uh, that Jin here. this right the boy what is this for hmm. well made it through this. Three of them at level 30. First one item from the souvenir store. Let's do that quick. Wasn't aware that there was a souvenir store. as much as I can. Guess I can assume her. Even my breaths feel lighter. What? I'll just I can't ascend everyone, I have to level people up first, I see. Uh up now some more too um, there's a free one nice I don't say no to free Try to get that one weapon. Um, a bunch of new stuff. Yay. Forgot there's a gallery thing. 
I go around, I can try to find everything. I guess these are like the movies. Unless they're not. I guess they're just uh, pictures then. I guess I like how that little bar above my HP is actually changing to the music, depending on where I go. That's kind of cool. Um, let me see here. Let me see if I can get this weapon. I don't think I got it. Dang, that sucks. How many do... Okay. I wonder if I should try to go for that sword. Oh, it's a different price. So the golden item ones are more expensive. Let's see if I can try to get this or not. Hey, I got him again. Feel free to come by my gym. We welcome all visitors. Hmm. Dang. I haven't been super lucky yet. This must be monsters later, so when I go and I fight them, I'll know what they drop. Oops. Weapons, okay. Hmm. Guess I'm on my way to souvenir shop. There we go. On our way. teleport thing I can activate up here too.
Maybe they're down below? To the official merch shop of Pioneer Association. We adopt a point redemption system. Okay. So. Let me buy these recipes. Weapons and upgrade skills. Okay. Ooh, I can get one of these here for fifty. Okay, then I'll just leave the rest for now. I could try to go do that. <sighs> I'm gonna go to the theater first, though. They, they say you have claws. We heard you can tear those monsters into sh. Hey, it's my tiger boy. Want to take a look? <gasps> yes, please. Okay, then. Here you go. <laughs> candies! Try some. I hope these candies can make up for not showing you my impressive claws. Not scary at all. Thank you, Ling Yang. You're welcome. Do come by to see our lion dance show tomorrow. I will. Oh, how wholesome. See you soon. Hmm. You smell unfamiliar, yet so powerful and so pure. Hmm. Do I smell funny? You must be that famous rover. Hiya! I've heard a lot about you, and now I finally get to meet you in person. You can call me Ling Yang. Glad to make your acquaintance. Fare thee well, blessing swell. Hmm. I'm the sugar. Of course I'll shake your hand. You really are different from everyone else. Why is that? Are they scared of your hands? So we've shaken hands. Now we're good friends. What are you doing here? Our troupe is doing a big lion dancing show tomorrow evening, and I'm now doing some advertising. Your troupe? Yeah, the lion dance troupe. We do cool lion dancing shows for parades. Hmm. Oh. And lion dancing is a traditional thing in Jinjo. We've got lots of activities in Jinjo. I can't wait to show you. Oh, oops, <laughs> uh, sorry. I guess I'm a bit hungry after rehearsing for a whole day. <gasps> Speaking of that, I should treat you to dinner. Let's talk over food. That'll be fun. Mm. You seem a bit too kind. Uh, don't get me wrong. This is just how we treat our guests here in Jinjo. You'll love the hospitality here. I promise. 
But right now, I still have some other things to finish. I've been getting a ton of requests for private lion dances lately, and some happen to overlap with our big show tomorrow. Ooh, he's making that dirty money on the side. <laughs> and you know how important lion dancing is to the folks here in Jinzhou. Can't just turn him down. I mean, I don't, because it's the first I've ever heard of it. So, I had an idea. Why not combine all these personal requests into the grand performance? That way, everyone's happy. Okay. We can even customize the performances to cater to each client's needs. But first, gotta figure out exactly what our clients want. Rover? Wanna come with me? We can go visit my clients on our way to grab food. I'll show you around and introduce you to our local customs firsthand. It'll be way cooler than just hearing about it from others. What do you say? Your thing. Since it's your treat. Great! Let's go! Right. Okay, let me think. My first client's nearby. You might have seen them before. Just cross the bridge, keep going, and we're there. The other way? Um, it's this way. Hello there. Oh, you are. Fivefold blessings grace your door. Good luck and fortune evermore. Aw, oh, the lucky greetings. You're from the Lion Dance troupe, I bet. Nice to meet you. Are you here for my grandpa's birthday party? I thought our reservation was tomorrow. Did you maybe mix up the time? Uh, here's the thing. People from City Hall already booked a lion dance show on the same day for soldiers leaving on an expedition. I see. But maybe we can combine your celebrations with this existing show. My grandpa was a soldier too. He'd be so happy if you could do that for him. Nice. Just double checking again. It will be your grandfather's 60th birthday, right? Correct. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Then I'll do six spins in a row as part of the celebration, which symbolize the six decades your grandpa has lived through. Means I'll dance around our birthday star on the poles. It's a special birthday celebration dance. One spin for a decade past, health and vigor forever last. And I don't know if I like all of his rhymes. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm sure grandpa will be happy to hear that. Okay. Done. Now, on to the next client. Hmm. I remember it's a young couple. Let's see, right over here? Perfect. Blissful union, endless delight. Love eternal in thee a light. Oh my! Look who's here! Come here, Ling Yang. We're getting the wedding candies ready. Here's one for you. And this one here? Uh, I should go along with him, I guess. The blissful union, endless delight, love eternal, the isle light. Thank you for the candies. Actually, I'm here for that lion dance request you made. City Hall already booked a show for soldiers on the same day. So really? So you won't be able to perform for us? We were both born and raised in Huanglong, so we've been super looking forward to the Lion Dance Officiant Ceremony during our wedding. Is there anything special about this ceremony? It's an interactive wedding ceremony. The bride and groom stand on either side of the Lion Dance performer. When the lion head opens its mouth, they put their hands inside and it bites down. Why? It's called settlement. It symbolizes an unbreakable bond. I know this wedding means everything to you, and I don't want you to have any regrets. Your love is rock solid, and I can see that. 
the lion dance officiant ceremony would just be the cherry on top of your unbreakable bond. How about you two exchanging tokens when the lion head reaches the top during tomorrow's performance? It'll be a lively atmosphere with drums, gongs, and firecrackers bursting in celebration. Even though it's not exactly the thing you wanted, isn't it still a unique way to exchange vows in front of your loved ones? And it symbolizes, to the world's end, your hearts aligned. To the sky's edge, your fates entwined. Oh, that's so sweet. My partner's a soldier in training, headed to defend our borders soon. The Lion Dance show for departing soldiers must mean a lot to him. Zheng, what do you say? Sure. I'm happy to go along with whatever you want. Okay. Hmm. We'll need some more time to think it through. No problem. I'll wait to hear from you. This guy's got right. speech 100. Just one more client to go. He's at the place where we'll be eating our dinner. Ugh, my stomach's rumbling again. Can't wait for a big feast. Let's go get some food. I'm getting hungry in real life again, too. <laughs> Here we are. This is the place. Hey, mister. Lion peppers on the beam. May your profits always stream. Oh, hi. Isn't that the Lin Yang boy? What brought you here? My lion dance request? I heard you were getting a ton of requests. I hope you can still fit mine in. Look, I got the lion pepper and everything. Just waiting for you to put on the lion head and chow down at my store opening. Oh boy. Sir, there's something I need to tell you. <laughs> yeah, I heard. My thing conflicts with the performance you're doing for the soldiers, right? Will you have to cancel? Exactly. So I was thinking we could incorporate some lion pepper elements into the show to make up for it. Nah, no need to worry about my little shot, boyo. Just focus on your big performance. Oh, and you must be... Call me <laughs> Looks like Lin Yang has made a new friend. Here, try this while you're here. A new snack I just came up with. I don't see any food. Why is that guy in the Go background on, just staring at Dinner's us all angrily? <laughs> Mr. Shun Chai is a great chef. <laughs> it's like, why won't this lion stop speaking in rhymes? <laughs> to really get to know a city, Start with the food. Don't mind if I do. Yum, yum! Hey, sir, can we share this snack with the audience during our evening show? No snacks, no show. Let me do something for you. Anything to help you attract more customers. Oh, my. That'll be my great honor. But... What's the matter? Have you heard? There's a monster appeared in the wild recently. One they call the Jingle Beast. The Jingle Beast? Yeah, somehow the nickname sounds cute even. But you know what? It does all the terrible stuff you can think of. When hunting, it makes these jingling sounds. They say its tusks are over half a meter long and its claws shred prey with ease. Interesting. No, that's not true. The Jingle Beast doesn't look like that. Do you know it? It... It's, a uh, A friend of mine. Wow! Actually, I need this one ingredient for my new snack. But the Jingle Beast has been messing things up. Can't find good meat anywhere right now. Do you have any other ways to rep- Well, there's only one place left to get it, and it's run by this exile group called the Savages. Uh-oh. Apparently, they're in cahoots with the Jingle Beast, and that's how they still have meat for sale. Bet they captured it, and they're forcing it to make it to get the meat for them. But it's crazy expensive. Five times the usual price. It's insane. I'm just a small shop. 
How am I supposed to afford that? So, I can't make a lot of these snacks for you to hand out yet. Are you okay? Me? Oh, I'm fine. It suddenly struck me that there was another request to deal with. I... I it should be right next to the tea house, not far away. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go. Sorry, Rover. I'll be back soon. Hmm. I think I'll go take care of the savages for you then. <laughs> oh, that's typical Lin Yang. Oh, that was sudden. You'll get used to him soon. He's spontaneous, always doing whatever pops into his head in the moment. He just loves helping people. You'll often see him sprinting around the alleys, lending a hand wherever needed. He's quick and strong. Nothing seems to faze him. He's been such a blessing to us. We do feel bad when he injures himself accidentally, though. He brushes it off and tells us not to fret. But even though he says not to worry, we still do. That's nice. Rover, can you go check on him? Whatever you order at my place will be on the house. Sure, I'll go. Thank you. The tea house Ling Yang mentioned is in the residential area, just past the square. Keep walking and you'll find it. All right. Let's see what's going on, I guess. Sorry, but I'm not the one you're looking for. I never made any lion dancing requests. Uh-oh. Rover, what brought you here? <laughs> I'll mess with him. You didn't pay enough for the meal. What? Oh, no. Uh, how much money did it cost you? I'll pay you back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was really freaked out for a moment. If anyone finds out I let the guest pay, I'll be shamed in Jinjo. Are you in trouble? I received a strange request from the Bay family. It didn't mention any specific requirements. Hmm. Could it be your parents? No, it can't be. Now, if there's nothing else, please excuse me. Uh-oh. Please, one moment. Beishi, do you have an older brother? How did you know? The client who called me had a mature male voice. And since he said he's from the Bei family, there's only one other possibility. Beishi, has something happened to you? <sighs> Uh-oh. I'm Ling Yang from the Lion Dance Troupe. This is Rover. You can trust us. It's about my brother, Beiji. It's been a week now, and he still hasn't come back home. A week ago? That's when I received this request. Was he acting strange the last time you saw him? My brother and I stopped talking to each other a while back, after a big fight. I don't even know when he last left our house. But he still sends me packages from time to time. It's been a bunch of strange stuff. This package has old Angelica flowers. They don't smell good anymore. And these meats, they're almost bad, even though they're refrigerated. Anything else he told you? He mentioned hanging out with people from the Savages in one of his letters. Why didn't you inform the patrollers? I didn't tell anyone because I was worried my brother would get in trouble if I reported it to the police. Yeah, the Savages seem shady. And there's talk of the Jingle Beast being connected to them. But the return addresses on these packages are all different. How are we supposed to find him? Good question. I see. Rover, I you're don't so even clever. know what it said. I accidentally clicked it too fast. <laughs> Beishi, leave it to me. I'll help you find your brother. Can I go with you? I get it, Beishi. You really want to find your brother. But it's dangerous out there with the TD outbreaks happening more frequently. I can't guarantee your safety if we run into a spreading tacit field. I... 
I can handle it. I used to be a member of the Pioneer Association, too. Okay. Us pioneers never, never back down from a challenge. But I... Why does it keep doing that? It pops the thing up. I'm hitting the button to progress the dialogue, like it always makes me do. But then it puts my options too fast and it clicks whatever it wants. If you insist. Okay, but we'll need to ask Rover about it. He's a strong resonator. With him, we'll be safer on our journey. To be honest, I don't want to drag my friend into this. But this is an emergency, and Beishi wants to tag along, so I'm asking a favor of you. I'm sure it'll be fine. Rover, I know it's a big ask, but please, please help me. I can't turn you down now. I plan to. Amazing! Thank you, Rover. The guy who brings my packages is always the same dude, and I know where he works from. Okay, let's get this dealt with. Rover, are you ready? Let's go. And this is definitely going to be the longest stream I've ever done. I'm already at six hours. Wow. I've been having fun, though. It'd be great if my internet hasn't been all wonky throughout the day. It says I've lost over 200,000 frames. Oh, no. Okay. It should be around here. Wait. There's someone calling for help. Oh boy. Over there! The Hu Chiefs are attacking someone! Hey there. <laughs> the end has come. Easy. Ooh, thank you, you saved my life. Are you alright? Thanks for asking. I'm fine. I could have run away, but then the packages wouldn't reach their recipients. Your professionalism is commendable. Of course. We promise, we deliver. That's our slogan at Lalo Logistics. We're searching for a missing person who used your service. Can you help us? Sure. You just saved my life. I'll tell you everything I can remember. Does this look familiar to you? Hmm, uh, I'm sorry, but this doesn't ring any bell. But we just checked the package tracker, and it said you were the delivery man. M m maybe it was a mistake? I see. Well, we still have another question. About the savages. The savages, yeah, sounds familiar. Do you know the Tingle Beast? That monster everyone's been talking about recently? You mean the Jingle Beast, right? Yeah, whatever. That dangerous man-eating thing. It's said that they know how to communicate with that ferocious beast. So people have been paying them to talk the Jingle Beast out of attacking humans. That's all I know, sir. Thank you. But I've got one last question. Do you know where we can find the savages or the Jingle Beast? Sorry, but we have our rules to, to follow. I cannot divulge details of our clients. But... I heard the Jingle Beast is often found roaming in a campsite. It's somewhere near a broken tree on that mountainside. Well, those working on the guard tower can often spot it, too. I see. Thank you for answering my questions. Sir, may I remind you, that thing is very dangerous. It's ferocious beyond your wildest imagination. Please be careful. Oh, we'll be fine. And there may be more than one of them. Don't worry. If there really was a second Jingle Beast, well, I'll have to see it for myself. Guess we're gonna find out. Oh well, we didn't get anything useful from him. We did learn something. Yeah, at least now we know the Savages and the Jingle Beast are definitely connected. Besides, did you see his expression? He seemed frightened. I bet he was hiding something from us out of fear. He had been threatened. Well, at least we still got some clues from him. Like where we can find the Jingle Beast. 
But there are so many campsites in the wild. How can we pinpoint its exact location with a couple of words from him? Follow me. Let's keep our eyes open for anything unusual. Okay. Campsite near a broken tree and visible from the guard tower. I think I know where it is. That's the place. Let's look around and stay alert. This is it, From the huh? size of this campsite, it doesn't look like they can hold a big gathering here. The broken tree... It should be somewhere up ahead. Let's... Shh. Let's lay low. Oh. Let's not step on those bushes. Try not to make any noise. Go back down in a second. Accidentally found these. Oh, up there. Okay, cool. Here they are. Oh boy. Sounds come forth. <laughs> See if I can eavesdrop or not. It's not a suitable. Oh, I gotta be over there. Hmm. Interesting. Get right here. How did it go? <laughs> You're so smart, boss. That Jingle Beast rumor really did the trick. So they're really here? Shh. Keep quiet. Do you see these bushes? These bushes are not supposed to grow so well on exposed ground. Interesting. Must be planted on purpose. There might be traps hiding underneath. Let's stay put and listen to what they're saying. Oh, about that new guy? He's been getting things down quickly. I'll give him that. Hmm, he's too nosy. Can't shut up about the jingled beast. Let him go find the beast if he's so eager. And then we'll handle him ourselves. Oh boy. Boss, I heard this guy we're dealing with is tough. He probably be? won't believe in the Jingle Beast rumor. Let's see how he feels after we rough him up in the dark. But they're probably talking about her brother. You get it now? Brilliant plan, boss. You're relentless. <laughs> Watch and learn, kid. You're just a pup. You don't know what really scares people. But I'll come with you this time. All right, everyone, let's go. Grab your stuff. Oh boy. Phew, are they gone? No. Wait, they're still near. I can still hear them breathing. They're on high alert. But they're still inexperienced by beast standards. Okay, now they've gone farther away. Let's go check it out. All right. Tusk of an unknown creature, huge in size. A sp 
boiled, smelly, frozen meat that has been turned brown. Messy bill with barely visible entries. Expediture is almost zero. This is... this is my brother's device. So he's that newcomer. How could this be? Is my brother really working for those bad guys? Beishi, what kind of person is he? He's shy and careful, but not sneaky. He may be timid, but he really loves me. Beishi, sometimes we can't trust what we hear or see. We have to use our hearts and logic to uncover the real truth. It's not always obvious. Thank you. I see. Rover, you found anything else? Show him the tusk. It's just the tusk of an adult saber boar. It's indeed larger than usual, but they might be using this to make people believe the Jingle Beast is real. They're not just spreading rumors. They are also selling spoiled meat. It's unacceptable. Ugh. It pisses me off, too. The top priority now is to find clues about Beiji's whereabouts. Now we have another problem. We have to keep tabs on the savages to see what they're planning. According to what we just heard, their next victim is about to show up. Mm. I'll go look for the savages. Rover, I understand your anger. But they are super alert. It'll be too risky for you to go alone. I'd be just fine. Besides, I know the wilderness better than them. Maybe I should go. I want to ask you to take Beishi and go look for her brother. She'll be safer with you by her side. Understood. I will. If anything happens, I'll call you. Please, stay safe. Thank you, Rover. You take care of yourself, too. This thing may still be working. My brother could have left me a message. Let's check it out. Hmm. Ah, there is a message. Sorry, Beishi. I stood between you and your dreams. Perhaps you were right. Your brother is just a selfish coward. I don't dream of your forgiveness. But still, I want to do something for you. Farewell, Beishi. I'll kill the Jingle Beast for you. It's my brother. Why is he feeling guilty? It's probably because I joined the Pioneer Association. My brother was really against my decision. But that was my childhood dream. So we had a big fight. Why is he trying to kill the Jingle Beast? I... I don't know. He never told me anything about it. <sighs> Nothing happened. No. It must be the Jingle Beast. I know. I know that sound too well. A while ago, when I was on a mission in the wilderness, I got ambushed by tacit discords. As I struggled to escape, I heard the sound of a bell ringing in the distance. What happened after that? I... I can't remember. I was so scared, my mind went completely blank. After hearing the bell, I... I just kept running without looking back. That bell kept chasing me and only disappeared when I reached a safer place. I don't think it's real. If I hadn't made it, perhaps I would have been eaten by the Jingle Beast. I don't think so. So, yes. This must be the Jingle Beast again. I really don't think it is. I'm here with you. All right. Let's go. Okay. Huh. 
Hello there. Strike from the shadows. My time to shine. Cherish every gain. <sighs> and a beacon up here too. System activating. Performing onboard analysis. Alert. Lake component. Not found. Okay. Dang it, still not working. HQ, this is Rabbit 2, over. Rabbit 2 to HQ. Do you copy? Over. There was no response, only the crackling of static and the sound of your breath can be heard. You wait quietly, and after a long pause, the person's voice emerges from the recording once more. Rabbit 2, I'm attempting multiple radio contacts with HQ and received zero response so far. All I can hear out there is blue checking itself over and over again, and the wind. Another moment of silence, you hear the wind rustling past your ears. The person begins to utter as you were about to lay down the radio, his voice clearly filled with exhaustion. After fighting those TDs for so many years, I never expected to get stuck in this kind of place. Now Blue's busted, can't stand up or walk, let alone carry me back. Home, it's been a while since I've last went home. I hope my family's still doing okay. It's raining, and the rain won't even give me an answer. His exiles, <laughs> They don't give a darn with your, where your home is. All they care about is how to intercept your comms and steal your motor and your power module when you're less, least expecting. That's all. I've been looking for Blue's legs all over the place, and turns out they were snatched by Exorant. <laughs> you can't run away from bad luck. I guess Blue ran another check. System activating. Performing onboard diagnostic. Alert. Leg components not found. Don't you fall asleep on me yet, old pal. You're the only chat buddy I have right now. So, time to go find the motors of yours. You stay awake no matter what, alright? Static is all you heard afterward until the radio grew completely silent. The robot mentioned in the recording, there must be it. I should go check it out. Hmm. This must be it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's on a loop. Guess I'll have to get it fixed up first. Let's see if I can find anything nearby. He's the sound of the bell. I knew it. I kind of guessed that this, that was going to be the case. Hmm. Traces. I should follow it. A communications device. Exile seem to have in intercepted its signal. I may be able to find a similar device in the exile camp nearby. I think I managed to find all the stolen components, so it wouldn't matter that much.
How do I repair the robot? Like I'm getting sidetracked by this robot from my mission. There's something I want. Oh, look at that. There, I got it. Activated something. Cool. How do I repair the robot? I don't know. I'll just come back to it. been minutes since I sent you the signal. Didn't expect you to arrive so soon. What are you doing here? While I was tailing the savages, I overheard them talking about where Beiji went. You hear the bell ringing? A loud bell ringing? I think I heard something like that, but... Let's stick with the Beiji thing. Do you remember what we overheard at the campsite? They mentioned a newbie who was obsessed with the Jingle Beast. And just now, they sent him to some deep cave. I'm sure I did hear the bell ringing. So the Jingle Beast is probably hiding in here too. Well, given how big it is, I don't think it could fit inside a cave like this. What do you say? I do smell danger from this cave though. Based on what we've gathered so far, the newbie, probably Beiji, is in danger. We need to act fast. Shall we keep moving? Let's go. The time is ticking down. Rover, I've always known how strong you are. I probably shouldn't be asking you for more help, but Beiji is in danger, the situation's looking dire, and we need your aid. I already offered my help. Could you please help us rescue him? Your help would mean everything to me. Two meals. And deal. Of course, you have my word. Hey, I just realized I rhymed. <laughs> That's how we get back at him. Okay, let's go. I, I'm going with you. My brother's in there. I want to find him as soon as possible. Bei Shi, I understand how much you want to find your brother. But it's really dark inside, and we've got no idea what could be hiding in there. We'll be stretched thin just watching each other's backs. Besides, I have a more important thing for you to do. I need you to go back to the city as fast as you can, let patrollers know what happened today, and request their help. That's a good plan. But I don't want to run away from danger anymore! Beishi, as an explorer of the Pioneer Association, I trust you understand. A seasoned explorer knows how to make sound decisions in the moment. And sometimes, choosing to retreat doesn't mean we are weak. Please trust Rover and me. We promise to bring your brother back safely. Mm. Please trust us. Yes, I will. Please help him. And please stay safe, you two. No worries. We'll bring him back. In we go. A 
Let's see how. Let's see how much longer we can do this. This place, it's full of different smells. Plants, beasts, tacit discords, and humans. I'm pretty good at pathfinding. Leave it to me. All right. <clears throat> like how it put the timed character thing for me, but I already own both of these characters. <laughs> Look, I bet Bei Ji dropped this. From what Bei Shi described, Bei Ji doesn't sound like someone brave enough to come here alone. He came here for the jungle, the jingle beast. But why does he have this bizarre obsession with the jingle beast? Probably because he scared his sister back to town. I guess this is the only way ahead. Let's keep going. All right. is tricky and narrow here. Tacit discords could be hiding. Let's be careful as we move on. Yeah. I think he's my favorite character so far that I own that I can fight with. His combos are great. like one just appeared. I'll handle it. Stay back. What? Where? Why? I want to break this. Whatever, I'll do it in a second. just fell and blocked our way. Ugh. Beiji must have passed through here already. We'll have to find another route around. Here! I'll break this rock! Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa, it's... Whoa, it's side scroller now? That's kind of cool. Watch out! There's thorns up ahead. Let's jump over them. Once it's on your side. Hello there. Yeah. Gale storm. <laughs> Rover, see those glowing plants up in the cave? Yes. They help us find our way in the dark. Pretty handy, right? I suppose. But be careful. Our enemies can also use these lights to locate us and set up an ambush. So we can't stay too long in the light. 
Whoa! This guy is completely blocking our way. And? It's not too difficult to fight against, but it's a total wrecking ball. If we fight it here, it could bring down the entire cave. Oh. And it keeps one nostril open for food scents, even when it's asleep. We can turn that against it and use a scent it hates to repel it. <laughs> yep, that's the Noctiment. Let's put it by the spearback and see what happens. The scent is coming from below. The rocks here look so funny. They kind of resemble the plum blossom poles we use in lion dancing. How about this? Kick, kick, slide, twirl, and glide. Oops, sorry. I always recite this as I hop on the poles. I got carried away and said it out loud. Okay. Hmm, so many thorns here. One prick from these thorns hurts more than a fall. Let's glide over them. Okay. More thorns? No way! Rover, I'm here with you. The Noctiment smells near. Let's go and have a look. That's it. The Noctiment we're looking for. Now we can safely distract that spear back. Okay. Can't use that yet for some reason. Watch out! More tacit discords! Okay. Premium Stop chest. Good luck once huh. it's on your side. Phew. Been a while since I last swam. This feels so good. Wow. It's pretty. I didn't expect the inside of this cave to look like this. This is so beautiful. This plant only grows in dark places. And I haven't seen it in a long time. I miss it a little. Let's keep moving. Where'd you think you're running to, brat? 
Didn't expect you to make it this far. Shame these monsters didn't get you yet. Oh well, at least we'll get to claim your sorry corpse later. I... I'm not afraid of you. I know all the dirty things you've done. I, I, I've already sent out proof against you. Even if you kill me, it won't change the truth. There are still brave people out there. They will stand up to you. I know they will. I knew it. Beiji wasn't working with them. Hmm. Oh, our prey is finally here. Who are you? Run, run while you can. They're targeting me. Run, don't even think about it. Hmm. You think you were smooth? Yeah. We saw you spying and creeping up on us. We just played dumb to lure you in. And now we got gotcha. you. Time to pay for your sneaky ways. Oh, I think it's you who's going to pay. Boss, you're the best. Surrender now, and you may die in one piece. Nope. Why would you choose to live like a beast when you could be a human? If you call yourselves beasts, then you should know. Every beast has its own hunting game. Sometimes, a beast pretends to be weak, to give their prey a false sense of security. Make them assume they're the hunters. What? I haven't been this angry in a while. Oh boy. Rover, we'll show them no mercy. Since you've chosen to act like beasts, I'll handle you the way beasts do. Got some badass lines. Swift and resolute. That was easy. Crap. Oh no, boss. I heard once his tail starts wagging real fast. He's unstoppable in battle. So what? Uh, but his tail's wagging like crazy now. I haven't revealed my true strength yet. Try harder. Wow, you're so strong. <laughs> you don't stand a chance against me in the wilderness. Submit while you can. Or would you prefer getting torn to shreds? Oh boy. The bear woke up. <laughs> you startled those things awake. Boss, what do we do now? Well, uh... We're fighting them? We're running, of course. What? Wait, wait, boss! <laughs> Dang it! Rover, watch Why out! Why does it keep doing that? <sighs> so annoying. I don't even know what I said. Don't you dare lay a claw on him! Bring it on. Bring it. Man, I, 
I love these combos so much. This is my curtain call. You hurt my friend. You die. Rover, sorry I let you see this side of me. I'll keep it a secret. Thank you. That would be great. Don't worry about it. I'm alive! Thank you for saving me. Oh, and, uh, sorry, but, uh, who are you? Your sister sent us. My sister? Beishi? She's been worried about me. Is she doing okay? Uh, she's safe for now. That's good to hear. Thank you. No problem. I didn't expect she would. I'm sorry. Sorry I made you worry too. About Beishi. Yeah. I guess you've already heard some of it from her. Our parents were both members of the Pioneer Association. They were famous explorers until we lost them to an accident. We've been struggling to survive since then. I did many part-time jobs to make ends meet, trying to take care of my sister. But Beishi, she said she wanted to join the Pioneer Association and fulfill our parents' unfinished ambitions. She's the last family I have. I was really scared I'd lose her too. I tried to ban her from joining the Pioneer Association, and we got into a huge fight. We haven't really talked to each other ever since. But to be honest, when she was accepted to join the Association, I was really happy for her. Unlike me, she is brave, positive, and always willing to try new things. As her brother, I'm happy she'll get to see a bigger world. Looking back on it, I was holding her back from pursuing her dreams. <laughs> you had your reasons. Yes. I shouldn't have tried to make the decision for her. It's too dangerous here. Let's get out first. Your sister's been worried about you. Okay, out of the cave. We did it. <laughs> At the tail. I'm liking the game pretty well. The combat's great when um, I'm able to chain everything together with combos. I think that's really fun. But at the same time, it's kind of hard to get the dodges and like the parry thing sometimes. Sorry if I'm responding late. I don't know when you messaged. I was kind of uh, sucked into the whole story that was going on. <laughs> yep. How's your day going so far? Been productive? Exit the cave. 
Why? Why did this happen? Don't you just love it, Bunny? When they give you that text on the black background, but they move it so fast that you can't read it. <laughs> Been meal prepping. Nice, nice. <sighs> when it rains, it pours. This is not what I had planned. You did this to yourself. Behave! Ling Yang! <laughs> Rover! Are you alright? Yeah, like, it goes by way too fast. Yeah, funnily enough, when it's like the things where it's only like a few words, it gives you like way too long to read it. This is weird. Thanks for the tip, young lady. We made it in time to catch them because of you. Ling Yang! Rover! Are you alright? We are fine. Beishi! <clears throat> Beishi! Beishi, I'm so sorry I made you worry. Though seeing your reunion is truly touching, I still gotta say, this isn't the right place for conversation. Let's head back to the city first. I think I... I think this is probably gonna be the longest stream I've ever done, Bunny. <clears throat> Going for se almost seven hours now. It's fun. I wish I could do this every day. The one thing this has taught me today is that I really need a better chair. What I'm in is kind of hurting my back. I see your weakness. Yeah. I mean, like, sometimes there's some games that I feel like I can play them a long time. And then sometimes there's others where I can play it for so long, and then you start to get, like, that, that like, I need to move itch. And you just kind of get bored of the game you're playing. The city. You missed out on some of the gacha pulls I did earlier. <clears throat> we didn't get nothing too great though, so you didn't miss anything that big. <laughs> Makes me think, do you know, you know how Kage had, um, her subathon a while ago? And she got like over 300 hours on it? <laughs> Return to the city on your way back. Ugh. So, when you found out that Bei Shi lost her courage because of the Jingle Beast, you came up with a plan to get rid of it. I think I could probably do it. <laughs> Three hours. If I didn't have like an actual job and I could just do this, I could totally do it. <laughs> yeah. I thought I could kill the Jingle Beast and make my sister happy again. I think Kage might have finally gotten all the hours off. Because the last time I checked in on her stream, it was at like 10 hours, I think. And I heard rumors about an exile group called the Savages. Said they knew how to talk to that beast. So I thought... You wanted to find the Jingle Beast through them. Yes. I wanted to prove my courage. Wanted to make her proud of me. I just wanted to show her. 
If her timid brother could do it, so can she. Hmm. Your courage is commendable. You're new to gotcha games? <clears throat> Started Genshin not too long ago. I mean, if it helps, I started playing Genshin when it came out, and I've still never made it past, um, I think it's the Inazuma, maybe? I think I, like, just started, like, the Raiden Shogun arc and all that, and I never got past anything. But in the end, I couldn't achieve anything. Yeah, I think Kage had like 360 hours because of me. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> Couldn't find the Jingle Beast. Couldn't beat the bad guys. I only knew how to cower in fear. That's all I could do. I'm just an incompetent coward. I've always been. No, that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, <laughs> if you're ever in Kage's chat, just type, you want to make a deal, and then put her smug emote behind it, and she will get the joke, I'm, I'm sure of it. <laughs> At least you didn't choose to work with those bad guys. Succumbing to desire and killing their own kind, these are the deeds of beasts. It's a uniquely human trait to go against their natural instincts, even sacrificing themselves for someone else <laughs> or for a greater cause. If you want to mess with her, you can do that. <laughs> it only takes a moment for a human to descend into beastliness. But holding on to one's humanity requires unwavering commitment and courage. Beiji, you've already proved your bravery. I'm sure your sister is proud of you, too. R really? Yes. I love you, brother. But promise me you won't do anything stupid again. Okay. Yes, I promise you. But, um... At least I did find something this time. We now know the so-called Jingle Beast is just a bluff. So, Beishi, you don't need to fear it anymore. But I did hear the bell. Perhaps it was just your imagination. Or maybe it was some tacit discords? No way. I heard it loud and clear. I, I couldn't have mistaken it. Ring the bell. Hmm. I guess we still need to help Bei Shi get over the Jingle Beast. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, we should do something. Rover, Ling Yang, we'll be going home now. Sorry for the trouble I caused. Sure. Go get some good rest. Don't forget to come see the lion dancing show tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. What's wrong with tomorrow? Don't tell me you've forgotten your lion dance request. No. No, I didn't. Sorry. Actually, I made that request to further investigate the Jingle Beast. But now, I guess that's no longer necessary. Why is that? I see. I know you've still got questions about the Jingle Beast. Who knows? You may find the answers in tomorrow's lion dancing show. The lion dancing show tomorrow is really important. I see. We'll come watch the show. Yeah, please do come, okay? Rover, I know you still have a lot of questions to ask. And there are things I'd like to discuss with you. I already know you're the Jingle Beast. Please, follow me. Keep going down this road and we'll reach the theater. But I guess you've been there many times already. Well, 
Let's just hang out a bit while we're here. Okay. You know what's funny, Bunny? While I was doing these, um, the quest with him, when I was in the cave, it gave me my character and his character temporarily. Sir! But I already own them both. <laughs> Thank you, Lin Yang. <clears throat> so we're gonna stop by everyone that we helped. After our adventure in the wilderness, the hustle and bustle brings a comforting sense of prosperity. I must do what I can to keep it thriving. Yeah, I thought it was funny because he was like one of the first characters I unlocked. Have a happy <laughs> wedding, Miss Lin Ling. Thank you, Lin Yang. <laughs> Miss Gamshua's shop is always so popular. Let's not bother her now. Okay. Her souvenirs are all made with care. I'm sure people will love them. Man, I can't walk the same speed as him. <laughs> Phew. And now we're back. Ling Yang, you're finally here. Master's been looking for you. Oh no, I completely forgot. Rover, could you look around backstage for a bit? See if you can find anything that might help Beishi overcome her fear. I'll be right back. Well, hurry up. Master's getting angry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Well, time to go find the bells. <sighs> New. Ooh, treasure chest. Cherish every gain. Handwritten pamphlet titled Lucky Greetings Collection. Signs of regular revisions can be noticed. It records in details of all the popular lucky greetings from Hunlong, including the ones often spoken by Ling Yang. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah, bells right here. Why can't I grab them? Bells are right here. <laughs> Is there something else I'm supposed to find first? Yeah, there's something back here with a dog. Why it's not letting me do anything with the bells when it's shining like that. Oh, over here. Partially completed red packets and silk balls. These should be lion dance props. Designs are delicate and you can tell meticulous craftsmanship from them. Okay, now I can get the bell. Rover, I'm back. My master is super strict before our performances. He wants us to give our all for the people of Jinzhou. Can't disappoint them. Why are the lion dances shows such a big deal in Jinzhou? Hmm. Let's begin with the history of this tradition. Lion dance shows started as a way to cheer up returning soldiers and boost their morale before battles. It evolved over time into a way to boost soldiers' spirits before battle, symbolizing courage and the hope for victory. Later on, it transformed into the festive performance we see today. But it's still about keeping bad luck away, dispelling fear, and passing prosperity and protection to future generations. What does this have to do with Beishi? Beishi got hit pretty hard during the attack, and she probably blanked out for a bit. Then, perhaps her brain made up some fake memories about that creepy jingle beast to fill... Beiji wanted to kill the jingle beast to help his sister. 
Indeed, getting rid of the thing she fears could work. But that won't solve the real issue. Like we heard on our way, the scary beast comes with many different names. We can defeat the Jingle Beast now, but another Twinkle Beast could appear late. It's not enough Why to just defeat that one Jingle Beast. Why is it cutting off their audio like that? Beast. One must have the courage to take on any beasts. That's why I want to help Beishi overcome her fear with our Lion Dance performance. As the Lion Dance evolved, it picked up various new styles and elements, which hold unique significance to each person. Our goal is to create a customized performance that truly benefits Bei Shi. Okay, gotta go prep now. See you at tomorrow's Lion Dance show. Okay. Yes, we need to make it the correct time now. There is a new reward to claim. There you are. It's been quite a while since I last saw a Grand Lion Dance show like this. I'm so excited about it. Rover, do you know what the secret is about the Jingle Beast Ling Yang was talking about? Wait until you find out. Oh, the show's beginning! Seems a little short on that jump. Oh. Someone's calling for help. Oh, this must have been what happened. He's the only one. I thought he's I thought he said he was part of a troop. Hey buddy. Wow. Walked right past me. 
was once chased by a big creature in the wilderness. All I could hear was a bell ringing, and my only thought was to run away. Then I heard about the Jingle Beast, so I figured it must have been what attacked me. But when I saw you perform today, it all came back to me. That's the same bell ringing sound I had heard back then. So, I must have been saved by that bell. The bell that sounded like it was chasing after me. It was actually guiding me away from danger. The lion dance inspires and empowers each person in a unique way. I'm glad my performance could give you courage and inspiration. Yeah, I loved your performance. I think I can keep working as an explorer for the Pioneer Association now. Beishi, that's amazing. When you joined the association, I was actually so proud. I'm happy you get to keep chasing your dreams. And, um, please forgive me. I am upset because you never told me anything. You always carried the burden alone. You didn't even tell me you were gonna go kill the Jingle Beast. Don't you ever do something like that again. I promise, I promise. Let me treat you to something as my sincere apology. I know a nice food stall. It's right up ahead in the square. You should check it out. Awesome. Beishi, let's go. What a happy ending for them all. Rover, how was my performance? Did you like it? It was quite wonderful. It was great. <laughs> Getting your compliment is all that matters to me. Rover, thank you so much for your help. I couldn't have accomplished any of this without you. I have one more question. Yeah, sure. Let's talk somewhere more private. All right. He walks so slow. I hate that when he walks, I walk slower. But when I light drug and he light drugs, I drug faster than him. <laughs> Rover, let's talk here. About the Jingle Beast. Where should I begin? Rover, have you ever thought about this? Since there are humans with resonance abilities, then, could there ever be beasts with the same kind of power? Yeah, that's, I believe so. Uncontrolled emotions in human resonators lead to disasters. It's even more dangerous in beasts, as they follow instincts. Over time, most of them died out, driven extinct by their unrestrained desires. Beasts that can bring their power under control are extremely rare, but they do exist. And the Jingle Beast, it... A long, long time ago, the Jingle Beast wasn't called the Jingle Beast. It used to have a name. It was called Swan Ni. It's an adorable name. Back then, the Swanese lived a tranquil life in deep forest. However, when the tacit fields expanded rapidly, their territories were not spared. Some of them had to encroach upon certain human territories for a chance to survive. Humans suffered greatly against the Swanese with their terrifying appearance, powerful resonance abilities, and wild animal instincts. And that's why the Swanees were deemed evil. How do you know all this? Uh, 
I read it in an old book in Huanglong. Said they lived under that giant violet banyan tree in the dim forest. The Swanees have nearly gone extinct over the years, and now there might be only one of them remaining. That is you. And I've heard of an interesting theory from the archaeologists. That last Swanee might have yearned to become a human. To make itself more approachable, it first came up with a less intimidating name. Something like the Jingle Beast. And then it yanked off all its fur, filed down its claws, twisted its bones, and learned to stand upright. Why did it want to become human so bad? Maybe it was drawn by the bustle and merriment of human cities. It must have been lonely as the last of its kind. Hmm. Maybe it was moved by human bravery against the lament and wanted to offer help. Maybe it wanted to fight the catastrophe that ruined its once homeland. Or maybe it simply couldn't resist human foods. <laughs> Anyway, it never really became a human in the end. Is it because of its appearance? If it truly wanted to become human, it had to first understand the essence of what makes a human. If you ask me, the essence would be the heart of a human. Therefore, the Jingle Beast no longer rejected its appearance and began to, in its animal form, connect with humans to assist them. Perhaps, in this process, it happened to save a girl in the wilderness. Rover, what do you think the ending for the Jingle Beast was? Did it finally become a human? Hmm, I'd say yes it did. That's what he wants to hear. Well, is that what you think? I think the Jingle Beast no longer cares whether it's a human or a beast. It lives in its own way. In this world, there are beings with the appearance of a beast and the soul of a human just as there are beings with the appearance of a human and the soul of a beast. All it needs to do is be true to itself. It will remain resolute and convey the beautiful and inspiring qualities it once saw in humans in its own way. Oops, I got carried away and almost forgot. Here, keep this bell as a memento. Background keeps Thank glitching you, out behind Rover. me. I'm kind of curious what would have happened if I didn't reach my hand out to him the first time now. Wing Yang, come here. Coming! Rover, I must go get the props ready for the next show. Come watch my performance again next time. Food's on me. I'll take you up on that. Please keep this bell. It should bring you good luck. Fare thee well, blessing swell. Hey, we did it. That was nice. Okay, let's see. So, we need to reach Union level 14 and 15. I think these might be the daily quests.
Could find the spare parts. Let's try this one. Yeah, I'm not too far from it. Anyone help? That guy's about to fall. What happened? Up there, he can't get down. Help! Help! Leave it to me. We saved him from falling. What are you doing? Ah, my hand. It is finally catching up to me. I guess. Thank you so much for saving me. If he wasn't there, I might have face planted into the ground by now. Are you okay? It's okay. I'm fine. As long as my camera is okay, everything's okay. It's still working perfectly. But my hand. Uh, what about the photos? What photos? Putting together a photo collection called Old Memories of Jinzo. Basically, it's a mix of old and new photos of the city. Worked for a magazine called Witherham Geography as a journalist with the Pioneer Association. Our job is to take pictures and share the beauty of the world with people who can't travel. I've been working hard for this goal. I may not look the part now. But when I was younger, I traveled across the mountains and rivers, taking countless photos, some which even won awards. But all of that has passed. I'm getting old and close to retirement. And now my hand is busted. Well, it's just great. Uh, There's only three places left to go, too. I guess I won't be able to finish the last set of photos before I retire. I can give you a hand. Really? You really mean it? I don't know what to say. I'll, I'll credit you in the magazine and I'll get you paid for sure. Please, you're in my only hope. It's not a big deal. Ah, take my camera. All you need to do is aim it at the scenery. You want to shoot? Press the shutter to release. And the moment will be captured forever. The first scenery is the high ground, where I was earlier. Good luck, it'll be careful. It's all on again, I have the high ground. <laughs> okay, so we have a camera now. So I'm gonna guess he wanted to take a picture. Of that, maybe. There we go. Here, I have the picture for you. Nice! Let me take a look at that. Here you go. Let's see here. Spectacular! You're quite a natural for photography, aren't you? Just look at the transparency of this pond. I really liked this place when I was a kid. I'd always come here by myself to play. My parents was always worried that I might end up going swimming in it or something on my own. So they gave me a camera. My dad said if I saw anything I liked, I should take a picture of it. Well... With something expensive in my hands, I wouldn't dare jump into the water with it. But I ended up taking a lot of photos because of it. There was this one time where I took a picture almost at the same angle as yours and mailed it into a magazine publisher. And what do you know, it got selected as one of the new, new releases. That's how I started learning photography, which got better and better by the day. And so did Jinzo. 
started to thrive. There were more people on the streets, more shops and businesses, more prosperous. It was a good time. Okay, I think I've had enough mumbling. Please excuse me, I can't stop thinking about things like this once I start. We should move on to the next scenery and the places. Oh, I got an idea. Do you like cats? I do, I love cats. That's great. Little kitties, fluffy and adorable. Everyone loves them. Next, I would like you to take a picture of a cat. Sound good? Not a problem. I'll mark the location for you. Off we go. Ugh, I don't know if I've ever had a man voice like that before. <laughs> Feels all scratchy in the back of my throat. This area is cool. Hey, a kitty cat. He's a kitty cat. He da da da, but he da da da. Why can I not take a photo? Two cats for the price of one? Yes, please. Okay, apparently I didn't take a photo of, according to him. Oh, three kittens. Is there a third one? One, two. Oh, one, two, three. I see. Yeah, cats. I'm very much a cat person. I just went to town yesterday and I got my cat this little cat table thing and I built it for him. He wouldn't even go inside of it. <laughs> so I put some catnip in it. Hopefully they'll try to give it a shot. Well, see that cute purple? Here you go. Beautiful photos. Look how relaxed he is taking his nap. He looks so comfortable. There used to be some small kittens around here as well. I'd come see them whenever I was back from a business trip. And there was a calico just like this one. He grew up pretty close to me. I'd often come to see him, bring him something to eat and stroke his hair. It's a shame that I was busy with work and traveled a lot. So I couldn't bring him home. One time, I was away on a long business trip and I couldn't find him anywhere after I came back. It made me a bit sad, so I stopped visiting for a while. Then one day, I happened to pass by and saw three kittens. There were also people coming over to feed and take care of them. I even asked around, to my delight, the Calico ended up being adopted by a loving family. <laughs> That's my story with cats. Now there's only one more place left to go, and I have a favor to ask. Ask away. I'd like to ask you to take a picture of me in the residential area. I wish to make it the final photo of the collection. I need to make sure that there's some preparations done. Why don't we meet there in a bit? Be nice if he shows up and he wants like a picture with him and his family. That would be sweet. On our way we go. Oh, is that his family and his grandkid? I really hope so. This is the place. This bridge. It's always the same. It's right here. Please, help me take the photo. <coughs> uh, excuse me.
There we go. That was the photo. Let's give it a look. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've been stared at for too long. I used to take pictures here with my family. Just like that family. It's a family thing for us to take pictures here every year. I used to stand in the middle with my dad having to hold me up just to get in frame. When I was younger, I grew older. Got big enough to wrap my arms around my parents' shoulders for the pictures. The amount of family photos grew less and less after I left home for my job. Now they're not here anymore, but... Taking another photo here at the same spot can count as telling them I'm doing pretty well, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I'd really appreciate your help today. If it wasn't for you, it wouldn't have really been hard for me to fulfill my wish for capturing the moments of Jinzo. I plan to mail these back to the publishing, crediting your name on it. Oh dear, you've been so preoccupied with the photos, I haven't got the chance to get your name yet. <coughs> Excuse me, I am Le Sugar. Got it. I am in your debt. You must accept these as your reward. Keep my camera as well. It's an old pal of mine. Visited countless places with me over the years. I believe it deserves to continue its journey on capturing... The beauties of the world with you. I trust you and your talent. Also, how about considering becoming a journalist in your free time? That sounds fun. Well, I'm happy I got to help you, old man. <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> Let's see here. What do we got? It's a daily quest. Let's do this one quick. Do you have any cats, Bunny? Or are you more of a dog person? This is a testament. Okay, let's see. We need to go this way. I wonder what I should eat once I stop. Got extra curry around that I could eat. Don't you growl at me. Easy peasy. Did the deal first? Here it is. <coughs> mm. I have the 
Tracking on that. This is the closest travel point to it. Thorn thing now. <laughs> oh, that was too far. Cherish every gain. Let's see what we got here. fast. Goes too fast. do this. <clears throat> oh boy. Let me go back and try to do it again. An unexpected discovery. Try to go for gold. Remnants of the past. Yeah, let's try this good. Now that I know how it works, this should be easy. There we go. 
This is a testament. Cherish <sighs> every gain. Go. Okay. I need to head this way. Suppose I'm gonna get distracted and follow these. No hesitation. Guide my blade. Gale storm. that puzzle. <gasps> Do a fight. Discovery. <sighs> now we'll finally go look for this other thing. of the past. Okay. Wonder how close I'm getting. Strike from the shadows. stuff. Um, maximum HP would be good. Cook everything we can. Oh, 
Okay. Back to our journey. Ooh, a puzzle. This needs to be... of the past. <sighs> Ooh, challenge. Strike from the shadows. A moment of resonance. My time to shine. <sighs> every gain i like that you can find like challenge stuff to do like while you're on your way to find things it's got warning signs on it an unexpected discovery how close am i getting pretty close Oh. This looks like a town. <clears throat> oh, this must be the thing I'm supposed to activate. every gain. Okay. Bank was in three crests in the resonant tower. Interesting. What? Am I able to level anyone up? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Got that done. So, I think this is where I'm gonna wrap it up. We've been at it for quite a while. About eight hours-ish, almost. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. No, uh, a lot of this might have been slightly boring because I was grinding for some of it, but either way, I hope you guys still enjoyed it. And as always, remember you can find the VODs for these on YouTube. When it will be there is a good question. I don't know. Uh, kind of in a slump for editing at the moment, so might be a little bit till this shows up on YouTube, but it will be there, and it'll be in 
higher quality. It should be in 1440p, so... Yeah, no problem. Glad to have you around for the stream today, bunny. Let's see, is there anything else to take care of before I go? I don't think there was. Unless we try to see if we could... I don't think we have anything for it. Wrong button. Wonder if we can get... No, I already bought all the stuff for summoning, I think. Except for these ones. Let me see how many I have. I don't have any of anything. We'll have to save that for another time then, I guess. But... Hmm. Oh, the wag. Oh, but yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully, I'll see you around next time, Bunny. And as always, I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Hopefully, I think I might stream... Um, maybe tomorrow. If I do, it might be Minecraft or something. So, with that, this is the final goodbye this time. I swear, I'm, I'm like that old man. I'm rambling. So, I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.